Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Yay. And tonight we fulfill that promise once Yay. again <laughs> with two world premieres two. and one exclusive update. Nice. Yes, it's a big show because mm. we missed last show, so we have to make up for it. Uh, we have Kara Mew. Oh, um, uh, which is an exclusive world premiere. Okay. These are all for the Atari 2600. Ooh. So let's put that up. Nice. Uh, and we have an update to When Hop, The Search for Planet X by Andrew Davey, who's in the chat. Very nice. Uh, and we also <clears throat> have Dragon Chalice, an exclusive world premiere by Gem and Tronic, who is in the chat as Yay! well. I believe all three developers will be in the chat. Nice. Questions. Um, questions in the chat. Questions in the chat. Yes. That's right. You can put your questions in the chat for the developers. Um, first, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers before we get into it. Alan the Firearms Guard Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Beef Supreme, BR Poco, Chal Stoney, Mal, Charles Wheel, and Chitlet Law. Cole Patch, Colonel Amma, Cubanismo, Dianoid, Danny VC, Daryl 1970, Dr. Mukows, Gamma Dev, Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Gallant, Ground Pro, Joe Rapper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Croco 2600, Lambda Express, Lauren TDZ, Mark Annis, Mark Space Egg, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Mother 3, Mr. Zarnu with Mr. Fix, Mighty Fester, Nostalgic, Pat FEG, Coag, Raymond CRC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Gorkado Pim, Six Sweet, uh, Sledge Hammered, uh, Spinny B, Spiceware, S. Mm. Teleprompter, D Train, Tiki Dan K, Teetfos, Track MD, K, X can X. Uh, and they're all scrolling beside Tanya. And if you want your name scrolling beside Tanya, you just hit subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime. Or you can pay without Amazon Prime, like some people do. Uh, did you memorize a list? No, I have it on my phone. <laughs> I cannot memorize that. That's that would be way, a pretty long list. Although it is the same names week to week. It's not like it would be that hard. Subtle uh, differences. I bet if you put that down, you could name... Like when somebody subscribes in between two people I go oh that's not the next one so yeah. I kind of have it memorized a little uh, bit I wonder and this might be a game we have to play one day <laughs> um if ever we do I, another marathon I don't want to memorize the no, no 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 <laughs> that's not a fun game no 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 just how many names on the list you would remember like just put that down don't look at the screen oh, my God. and just try to name off subscriber get names some of them I think you would get, get more a, than you would think maybe more than half yeah uh, but it's anyway. it's a lot. It's like 60 names. Oh. Um, Ooh, and you can subscribe uh -oh. like Spiceware and Ricardo Pim did before the show. Thank you so much. A subscriber challenge. Exactly. It's a challenge to me. I don't want to do challenges. Yeah. Video game challenges I'll do. Yeah. Not name, not memorization. Yes. I'm terrible with it. You just put it to, to music. Put it to music. I still remember That's that right. fast talking McDonald's menu from like 1980. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Um, let's put up the poll question before we get to the stuff we're wearing on ourselves right today. Oh, yes. Um, it's a fashion so, show day. That's right. So the <laughs> poll question is, how often do you go to the arcade? Is it working? Did it go? Did it trigger? Does it's uh, not on the screen yet. Error. You're not connected to the server. No. Oh, no. Oh, server. Did, did, did it go down? Oh, my. Oh, the, the, oh, that's... We'll do the poll later, I guess. Okay, we'll try it a little later. That's, uh... Oh, my goodness, silliness. <laughs> Where is so, that server? Think about your answer, I yeah. guess. Uh, it sometimes goes down. I entered it in an hour mm. ago, the question, but... Anyway, we are wearing yes. new shirts. Look at this. Couch compliant yeah, shirt. Yeah, look, this is a brand new one, right? Brand new. Brand, brand new. new. I've got the ZPH. Just showed it today. Some magical code. Yep, some magical code. Hey, oh, it's getting close. Uh, Blurry too close. and too close. down. There oh, you go. Gosh. That's this not bad. There you go. You can see ZPH yeah. in it. And then you can see <laughs> mine here. Hundred percent certified couch compliant. Woo! There we go. So let's take a look <laughs> at these uh, shirts. Server provides not today, Metal Lunar. Not today. <laughs> not today. Servers <laughs> failed us. Um, so let's take a look at these shirts. You having trouble? I am always having You're trouble. You're too excited. Yeah. Too uh, much. So here <laughs> is uh, the page. If you want to get one of these shirts, um, boom. So the couch compliant one Didn't is get it on the, shirt, uh, the first one, yeah, wrecking the shirt immediately. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, 
so the uh, text says, who needs all these switches on the console anyway? One button to rule them all. <laughs> this shirt is for those who want every option right at their fingertips with no need to get off the couch except to pop in the next game. Yeah. A uh, huge thank you to Vitoko for the great couch and text graphic in the center of the shirt. Mm. There's many variants of uh, the couch graphic, but I went with Vitoko's. It was very clean, um, so there was lots and lots of different ones. <coughs> um, yeah, so I love. I got it in green. There's I like many the green, many colors. Actually. I picked red for the default to show on the page, but I, 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 nice. I don't have a green shirt. Oh, look at this! How does this get on here? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I don't have a green shirt, so I thought, oh, I, I got to get a green it's, shirt. It's a perfect Luigi color. <laughs> it's a Luigi green? <laughs> it is a Luigi green. Actually, that'll be perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Was the Couch Compliant it won their last episode? No. <laughs> well, what I did is I uploaded that like a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Made it available for like five minutes while I ordered it for myself. Mm. And then, then unpublished it. Mm. And now it's published today. Um, and then is, there's the other one that I announced the other day. Yeah. Uh, the 128 bytes of zero page homebrew. Yeah, I know. I know you want treats. Um, so that <laughs> one was already available, but they're both available now. Just some more options. Uh, they come in more colors than the Intellivision or ColecoVision can yeah, do. Yeah, very true. Because right. the Atari is colorful. It's a mm. colorful uh, video game system and computer system. Mm. So many colors. Way more than Coleco or Intellivision or Commodore 64, which only had 16. Um, so there you go. Some more things. You can put them on pillows and stuff. They have mugs and things like that. I think I picked the same ZPH oh, colors. Yeah. Is that the premium marine it, blue? I think it might be. Um, it's sort of a bit more of a... Navy. One? Yes. Navy. Navy. Yeah. Yeah. I picked the default one for that one. Mm. Um, which That's one nice is it? Oh, I do like the, um, the heathered colors. The heathered are nice colors too. are really nice. Yeah. Navy heather. I think because you have white in there, blue. you do want a darker color with it. Uh, yeah. But I did put a, um, an outline. So if you do get white. Oh, it has a black it outline. It has a black outline. Well, that That's actually is kind of neat looking. What did he say? Yeah. Marine blue. Where's marine blue? Might be the blue heathered one. Uh, oh, oh no, maybe royal heather. The other blue there. Turquoise heather, teal, teal. Royal, royal blue. blue. I don't know. It's marine blue. Uh, it looks good in all the yeah. colors. Yeah. You gotta get black to make the colors pop. Oh, Navy does well premium. too. Premium. You have to go to premium for oh, those colors. Oh, fancy. Oh, marine blue. Oh, that's a nice blue too. That's a nice blue. That yeah, works like that. really well with the colors. And the blue does stand out still because the blue yes. is a slightly different blue. Very yeah. nice. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, there you good go. choice. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's how we got this pillow too. Mm. You can get the get them in pillows if you want. Um, so next thing. Uh, we just had our 15th wedding anniversary. Um, that's why we were away. Yeah. And we went down to, uh, Las Vegas. Not my favorite place, but, um, uh, it was a place because we met up with friends. They were celebrating as well. Yeah. Um, but we went to an arcade there. Yeah. Called Player One <laughs> Video Game Bar. Congrats on your one, 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 one. <laughs> oh, very nice. Yep. I like how it's. Oh, one, 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 one. Yeah. <laughs> Binary. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so let's uh, take a look at. Silicone. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> is that is that the uh, is that the celebration? Oh, you said what's 15? 15 is silicone. silicone. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so this is the place we went to. Mm. Um, I was looking through all the different arcade or mm. barcades in uh, Las Vegas. Yeah. And this one seemed to have the best selection of actual arcade games. They had a lot of some, arcade games. Some barcades have like multi-cades and they're not the real thing. Yeah. And the joysticks are just generic and they all have eight buttons and it's not made properly. Yeah. So this is the outside player one video game bar. We went for it with our friend Jason. Yeah. Um, as soon as you go in, I was like, okay, this is the real deal. They've got uh, mm. um, an Apple computer. They've got a whole bunch of video game. These are all for sale. They're really exorbitant like, prices. About double. Yeah. Clearly. Fifty like percent more, maybe. More about being in the cabinet yes. than actually wanting to. It's sell like it. you want to buy it? Sure. You this can. is a crazy price. <laughs> uh, Did you win at, at yeah. the slots? Then uh, you can buy it. That's probably yeah. what they're counting on. Yep. Yeah. Um, they had the whole bunch of tabletops. I don't have the Cubert one, 
Um, but I have all the rest of them. Hmm. Um, I even have that scramble too. Um, and there was a <laughs> Pengo one, which yeah. I didn't know there was a tabletop Pengo. That's pretty cute. Which is awesome. Yeah. Um, Dracula's also my, on my list. I do want that one. I haven't seen either of those before, um, so that's really there's cool. Pac Man over RC70 there. RC70 can't remember if his last anniversary was his 15th or his 16th. No, I don't have the Dracula. <laughs> I, do, I do want it. It's on my list of things that I do want. <laughs> Um, as well as the Qbert. Um, what is this one? Super Cobra. Um, I don't have this. Is it Super Cobra I have or is it Scramble I have? Oh, can't see. Is that it? Which I can't. Mm -hmm. um, uh, no, that's Defender. Oh, well, too hard to find. What is this one? Nope, that's not it. It's we do have Pac-Man, right? Is the Pac-Man we have the real Pac-Man? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Always the real Ivory one. Tower says, I need Pac-Man, but I have most of the others. Yeah. Um, yeah, Pac-Man's a little bit easier to find than the q -Bird, and especially the Zaxxon. Zaxxon's very expensive, because mm -hmm. it has two screens. Um, mm -hmm. It had Dragon's Lair 2, which I've never seen before. I died very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and of course, Satan's Hollow. So we had to go there. Yeah. One of our favorite games. That's one of my favorite games. There's yeah. Tanya playing Satan's Hollow. Yeah. Um, it had Gorf, <laughs> which was awesome. I've never played Gorf in the arcade. Quite a lovely screen on that too, with all the, um, the oh, lights yeah. and the, like on the, um, the around the screen, like the decoration around the screen. Space Cadet. It has your rank and it lights up your rank. I didn't nice. even notice that till I looked at the ah, picture here. Yeah. Uh, I made it pretty far. I beat two bosses on my oh, first nice. try. Oh, nice. Very good. Yeah, made it yeah. to level 11. Uh, and look at this. Side by side. Daryl 1970. Look at this. <laughs> Popeye and Pango were right side by side. Played both of them. Um, there's Tanya playing Pango. She had lots of practice, so, uh, hmm. yeah. I didn't do so there's terrible. playing Pango. Although it was on some kind of infinite lives It was. There was setting. like a billion lives across the top. I was like, shouldn't, I be, the top. shouldn't I be dead yet? Like, I, it was a little confusing, but it was fun. A lot of fun. Weird that Satan's Hollow never earned the ire of religious type. Well, you yeah. are firing against the devil, so yeah, maybe they're are. like, That's oh, true. you're trying to kill the devil. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, such know. an amazing game. I love yeah. Satan's Hollow. Um, it had elevator action, which I've never seen in the arcade before. Um, it had so many games that yeah. I've never seen in an arcade. It was really, really full with uh, great uh, 80s arcade games. It had games. a lot of 80s arcade games. Um, the condition was... Uh, For some, some of them. Some yeah. of them were not so great. The screens were all good. It was the controls that I had some troubles with. Mm. There's me playing elevator action. Had Tutankham as well. Yep. Super hard game. Oh my god. Um, and it, let me go back out to this. And it also had a bunch of consoles all along the wall, real consoles, all with multi carts. Yeah. Had a 2600 a with a harmony cart. See, it says Atari. Yeah. Look Fred at that. Quimby. Look at that. I zoomed in on it. Um, the monitor worked, uh, but the 2600, I, I couldn't see the wiring. But as, if I turned on the 2600, it didn't affect the picture at all. Yeah. I tried composite. I tried RF. Oh, you actually tried to fix it. <laughs> uh, I did try and fix it and get it working, but obviously yeah. it was off because something. Yeah. All of their came systems out. were mounted like this. Yeah. So they had all the consoles on the wall. Like plastered on the wall. They had the CRTs above them, and yeah. some of them were working. Uh, unfortunately, most of them were working. Yeah. Um, this, the older ones weren't. So. <laughs> no. And they got but, the nice um, displays. It says when yeah. it was released, and it had the. Um, the art in the background it was all, really nice all the tear out pages from art of atari the, yeah. the huge got right up here yeah it's right there yes um they had all these a bunch of these um posters framed from yeah posters framed from the Atar art of atari book yeah so it was really nice display for the 2600 mm -hmm. um there's a kind of an overview of the arcade and it was really well decorated like oh, the, yeah. every wall was full of huge artwork and yeah. really geeky stuff all over the place. And they were having a um, Mario Kart tournament. Mario Apparently Kart every, tournament. every day they have some events and every when we were there Tuesday. Yeah, it was a Tuesday. So was, every Tuesday they yeah. have a Mario Kart tournament and they had in this little back area, all and, these people. And they were Mario Twitch Kart, streaming it. And they too. were live streaming. It was yeah. fantastic. Oh, my God. It was an amazing arcade. You have to go to it. <laughs> Um, they had a bunch of really good pinballs. Yeah. Um, those were not free. 
Um, yeah, you paid once. You could play as long as you want for the day. It was $8 US. That's the cheapest I've ever paid to yeah. get into a barcade. Yeah. I guess they rely on the uh Oh, the drinks, beer sales. They actually had a wonderful... Which was also cheap. A wonderful beer list. Well, I should say relatively cheap, cheap relative to Las the Vegas. rest of Las Vegas. Yeah, about half the cost of... About half the cost still, of this strip. a little much. But, yeah. Anyway. Uh, where was that? It was... Uh, player one. Uh, player one. It was not far from the strip. It, it was, was like 20 minute drive. 15. 15, 15 minute yeah. drive. Yeah, off strip. And a rare... But not too far. Rare shot of Tanya playing Hubert. <laughs> only with a beer in my I, hand. <laughs> and I... Yeah, only with a beer will it work. I did... She, I just looked over and she was playing Hubert. I was like, oh my God, I gotta... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get a picture of this. I haven't actually played the arcade in a long time, so yeah. I was like, "Oh, okay, I'll, I'll jump on there." It's and because see. It's, it's got a forty-five degree angle joystick. Yes, so it's a lot it easier. It does make it easier. Yeah. yeah. Um, they even had uh, Vectrex. Just with, hidden in the corner there. With the multi card. It wasn't on. I didn't try and turn it on. No. But, uh, that was right on the bar, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's Vegas. Everything's subsidized oh, by yeah, gamblers. It's true. True. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's the full display of the Atari. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see all the artwork and. Um, yeah, it was really, really cool. And they had, uh, it was really well decorated. Yeah. It was a really, f and really uh, uh, fun place. Yep. The last of the shots there. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we went to Las Vegas for five days, uh, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah five four days. or five days. Yeah. Pretty warm, but not too warm because it's dry. It yeah, May is a good time to go. Early, uh, low 30s to mid 30s. Sorry, Americans. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's that's how uh, hot it was. Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Um, it's quite quite decent. Went to a bunch of restaurants and uh, oh, we went kayaking. We did. We which went was lots to the of fun. Emerald. What was it? Emerald Caves, which is on the Colorado River, right where, right at the border between Nevada and Arizona. So we technically were in Arizona for a tiny bit. Yeah. And then came back. Yep. Yeah. Um, so on one bank was uh, Nevada and one bank was yeah. Arizona. Yeah. So we didn't actually put our feet in, in Arizona, Arizona, but we we're in the water in Arizona. I think we crossed through to Arizona, though, no. to get there, didn't we? Oh, we did in the car. In yeah, the car. That's yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um, okay. Next piece of news. Mm. Oh, minimize that. That arcade is a good excuse to go back to Vegas. Uh, yes, hundred percent. Hey, Arena Foot. Hey, Arena Foot. I Welcome. Seen you in a while. <laughs> um, this is the Raspberry Pi Pico Multi Card. So mm. Electro Trains is working on this new multi card for the twenty six hundred. Um, it, this has no SD card, but it has two megs of flash. So you need to flash the games on it, which is eh, something. There's the first iteration of it. And there you can see it's just a Raspberry Pi Pico slammed into a board. Super easy to solder. You oh. Do have, do have to solder about 30 pins or yeah. something like that. A lot <laughs> well, of pins. But very cool. as soon as you solder it and you program the Raspberry Pi Pico, you're off to the races. Mm. That's it. It's super cheap. Mm. This is like low, low, low cost. And he's implemented um, DPC plus already. So it's at the level of like the um, Uno cart. Oh. Um, but it doesn't have an SD card. So it's a very, very low cost uh, multi cart. So how do you There's put games on it? Is uh, it just. You would hook it up to USB. Oh. Um, to your computer. Oh, directly to your computer. Yeah. So you don't need an SD card. Well, that. It works for some people. Yeah. That's kind of neat. Um, it also is for the XLXE, so there's another version of it. So. There's something so cool about how they've done the lettering cool. on the sides to, uh, yeah. it right into the board. I don't, yeah, yeah. cut into the board, I guess, but. Do not connect to USB. <laughs> um, and this is the same great. person who, um. Does it have an HDMI out? Made the Unicart, so they know what they're doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, it says, uh, maker of the Ultimate Cart. Mm. Um, Uno Kart, Uno Kart 2600, SNES to Neo Geo. So there we go. Uh, does it have an HDMI out? <laughs> mm, not this one. That would be interesting, though. Um, maybe some other, maybe he'll do a, a more upgraded one because some people are asking, oh, can you use one that has an SD card on it? And some of these, oh, some I of see. the higher, like this is the lowest, lowest bare bones. Well, you don't um, probably need Pi. more. You probably don't need stronger, like like yeah, up, um, 
it's more, more sophisticated options. Raspberry Pi, right? Not so. for this. This is like the bare bones. Like some of the bigger ones the have HDMI. Yeah. Some of them have SD yes, cards that's on true. them. Yeah. Some of them have Wi-Fi. I don't yeah. think this has Wi-Fi. So this is really, really quite inexpensive. But I thought I'd highlight it because mm -hmm. it's kind of really cool, actually. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing I wanted to show was this kind of unique but also not unique uh, controller for the 2600. Okay. It's called the Power Stripe uh, by Marcin Lipinski. Um, hi everyone, the new Atari 2600 7800 controller has arrived, Power Stripe. Just tilt your wrist to control the game. Mm -hmm. It's easy and challenging at the same time. I think challenging might be the operative word. I tested it in Pixel Heaven 2023. Leave a comment or a quest, ask a question below. Uh, now you're playing with power. To uh, borrow a uh, uh, phrase. Um, so it looks like uh, an Atari 2600 cartridge, which <laughs> is kind of cool. It plugs into a joystick port. <laughs> um, comes in a box. And it's pretty much the power glove for the 2600. <laughs> I think there's a video of it. So there's some shots of people. Oh, no, not there anyway. How do I... Is that it? Yep. Yeah. There was a video of it somewhere, but basically you tilt it left, right, yeah. forward, back. Okay. Exhausting. And you have to, you don't, I guess you don't have to hold your <laughs> hand up. Yeah, the whole are, time. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for following Grizzleby. I'm glad you're enjoying the show. Um, so it's like the power glove where you tilt it. Okay. Um, so it's a bit exhausting. And I saw the video and it's a Four bit, you have to do it like quite a bit. Okay. Um, I can see it working for some games that aren't, you don't need super reaction for. Sure. And I'm guessing it has a button on it. That's I don't know how you press the button. Uh, I don't see people. Pushing a button. Maybe you do like this or something. I don't know. Any mercury <laughs> inside. That was, that's what I was wondering. I, was, I yeah. almost got out my um, the stick um, to compare it to because that has the same thing. two things of mercury in yeah. it. One that goes left and right, forward and now back. Now someone just needs to come up with like a um, Atari yoga game, and then you just put one on each wrist, and you you know hold different poses. There is a uh, <laughs> yoga type um, balancing board uh, for the Atari. For the Atari. Nice. <laughs> um, it was used in a skiing game. Really. And somebody repurposed it for a yoga homebrew oh that they made. Oh my god. And the challenge of that game was to nice. sit perfectly still, so you don't tilt it nice forward or back okay yeah. okay joy board joy that's board. what it was called the amiga joy board so amiga made it um let's see so that that's interesting yeah if, and and he is taking orders yeah if you do want to buy this you want to give it a, a whirl right very unique controller uh yeah. it doesn't have how much it is guru meditation comes uh from. so the, as ed nelson says so it's the power glove 2.0 <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, and he says, probably. <laughs> what games benefit from this? For example, Combat is very fun to play, but the hit was River Raid and oh. clones of that game. Berserk is difficult, but surprising, Princess Rescue was not that hard. So I must say, pleasant to play. Nice. Interesting. Andrew Davy worked on the original Power Glove. Oh, prototype. wow. That is cool. That's amazing, Andrew. Yep. Uh, Kev Kev said, can this be ordered? Yes. Send me a message. Any video? Oh, there's the video. It's in the comments. So there we go. So I don't see how to press the button, but they're, let's see if they press it. So they're going up and down by tilting. Did They did something. Yeah. Maybe it's on the bottom, like on the strap. Maybe. So there's River Raid. Uh, I don't know why people play River Raid in the craziest of colors. <laughs> craziest of colors. The gr grass is never green. Boxing game, yes, would be good for a boxing yeah. game. So yeah, it controls pretty good. Is this mm. the same, same video? Yeah, same video. Um, Neat. So interesting, interesting. Um, let's see, what is that one? No, okay. And um, last but not least, I've been teasing what the world premiere is going to be next Tuesday by the developer Old Style. And I put up two teasers. People okay. have been uh, guessing. guessing. Okay. 
And uh, some of them have been guessing correctly. Oh. Some have been guessing some very interesting, interesting. other games as well. Interesting. So I thought tonight would be the most appropriate place to reveal what game. Oh, so you're not going to wait till Tuesday. Oh, no, no, no. No, okay. I, this is on, I, I, I already told Old Style, I was going to reveal it before the show. Okay, so people and know what People what, know what's, what's coming. What, what's coming. Okay. So um, let me show you what it is. <laughs> um, so I thought, what better place to reveal what game it is mm. um, than here. And so the game uh, that mm. Old Style, who did Mario Brothers and... Uh, Lunar Patrol, which is Moon Patrol, a port yeah. of Moon Patrol, both absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. um, his third game, uh, which when he contacted me uh, many, many, many months ago about it, I was just like, <gasps> <laughs> my jaw dropped. It was it's, like, oh, a dream uh, come true. One of James's favorite games. So. It's so much fun. Yeah. I love this game, and I think a <laughs> lot of people out there are going to be pleasantly yeah. surprised. So, uh, next Tuesday, we're going to have the world premiere of Bobble Bobble Woo! for the Atari 7800. <laughs> and oh my God, is it ever a great port yeah. of the game. Mm -hmm. And it is two player. Nice. And it's got all the levels. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, absolutely unbelievable. So you definitely want to tune in for that. <laughs> Nostalgic, and the song is already stuck in my head. That's right. <laughs> so Very there nice. you go. But now on puzzle bobble, pu puzzle bobble is good too. But mm -hmm. That's uh, that's the matching ball game. Mm -hmm, yep, mm -hmm. one hundred to two hundred levels. Not quite sure. Oh, my old style is there. All I can add to this is please don't crash. Please don't crash. <laughs> yellow screen. Yeah. Oh, the yellow screen of death mm. for the H seventy eight hundred. So far, so good. Oh, that, that day is my anniversary. We oh, all have our anniversaries. That's right. <laughs> um, so I'm very, very looking forward to that. And the music is nice. by Synth Papalooza. So you know it's going to be good. Yep. Um, so definitely tune in that, uh, to that day on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, right. we'll also have a live interview with Old Style to talk all about nice. his game bubble bobble and yes. give us some updates on uh mario brothers and luna patrol as mm -hmm. well it uses pokey sound poke 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 yes so very looking forward to playing that I with tanya was... two yes. players in the game I'm very, very it is to it super too. super awesome um but uh for now let's get on with these world premiere exclusive games yes. uh the first one is kara muho and uh oh i have to show the manual on the screen so let's get into that so this uh, game is by uh mirsad uh sarah oh but yum, first yum, yum. oh but first it's treat, treat. first for cast <gasps> but that'll let, get me, let me have some time to prepare Let's get that cat cam going. Who wants some treats? Who wants it's some treats? It's been a little while. Ivory Tower Collections. Thank you, Ivory Triggered Tower. Triggered the treats for the cats. Oh, you good kitties. Are you good kitties? Have you been good? We had to put them in cat jail, unfortunately. Yeah, for a little while. While we were away. And the cat jail cost just about as much as our hotel room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. For the week. Like, not per day. The whole time we were there. Oh, okay. Can you see them? Oh, let's yeah. move this centralize that a little bit okay no no no, no. <laughs> no over no. there over there okay, okay. ready oh, oh my goodness and they're off for the races it's sprite one zero. Oh, she's there. right there come on atari hit it there good, you go good, good, good kitty oh my goodness oh oh no oh, oh why no. did you here he knocked it out of the way oh, oh he got it oh, oh that's sprite. okay <laughs> sprite just rang the bell too yeah he got his that sprite worked rang the bell yeah i gave it to him oh I threw another one down because I thought oh, he lost it. Oh, okay. That's three, one. Come on, Atari. Good, Atari. Three, Gives two. Some time to put up the manual for Karamuho. Four, two. Oh, he just swallows him in one he gulp. He does. He's a very naughty cat. <laughs> Five, two. Five, three. Good kitty. Oh my goodness. Six three. Yes. Six four. 
I know the running score could be on the screen. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I can figure that out. Like, have some keys on the keyboard that Maybe. I can press seven, for each four. of the cats. That would be really good. There seven, you go, seven five. five. You can do it, Atari. Catch up. Are you throwing his? So <laughs> a little bit. Eight five. <laughs> Needs a handicap. Slight handicap. Oh, what about the pole? It was. Let me see if I can get the pole while um, cats are doing their thing. Eight Ooh. six. Oh, it came back up. Okay. Oh, excellent. I think it might work. Yes, it did work. So how often? Because I put this out because we went to the arcade. So how often do you go to the arcade? Is it game point? Game point. Oh, and ten to what? Ten. Uh, ten seven. Ten seven. Not bad. Nope. Nope. You're done. Give him some more. I am. Okay. Don't you worry. There you go. Some. Extra treats. So the uh, options are mm. oh, stinky. once a year, let's say around, all these are like around once a year, mm. uh, a couple times a year, mm. uh, number three, every month or so, Ooh. Uh, number four, all the time, which could be <laughs> whatever your definition weekly. of all the time is, could be weekly, Yeah. could be twice a week, depending if you live close, or number five, never. Mm. Um, and I am going to put in every month or so, because it's a bit more than a couple times a year. Yeah. It's kind of in between. Yeah. Um, so Maybe gonna, a few times a year. Yeah. So I'm going to put every month or so, because I, I want to go more. Yeah. And as, but, as you can probably tell, we when we travel places, oh, we always try go to, to find an arcade. what arcades are nearby. So. Try to find the best yeah. one, at least, or, yeah. or a decent one. Yeah. And there's usually a half-decent one. Yeah. When I was in Melbourne, I looked them up, and it was not a good one. <laughs> it was a very bad one. It was disgusting, in oh, fact. Oh, no. They had some okay games there, but they were in very bad disrepair. Oh, no. Screens were going like this. And they're dim, and it was sticky, and there's flies in the bathroom, like a lot of flies in the bathroom. Oh, that's It not was disgusting. <laughs> oh, oh, we're back. Okay. All right. So, Karamujo. Um, yeah, they're looking at our feet. What happened to the name badge stickers you used to have stuck to your shelf above your head? Mm. Oh, those were from the arcade. They were just getting a bit too much. <laughs> there's some residue still there. Um, but uh, it was getting a bit much. Yeah. Yeah. But those were from our local arcade. Yeah, in out New in Westminster. Westminster. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Such a great arcade. Yeah, great guy who runs it too. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he's actually an official for um, Twin Galaxies. Yeah, you were he's saying. He's an official um, judge, yeah. I guess. So if you get a high score, it counts. Yeah. Like nice. you get a high score in his arcade, you can submit it. Yeah. Um, so Karen Muho. Let me try and get this bigger, actually, because this is. This is a little too small. They're not still there. Uh, James ripped them off. <laughs> yeah, it was getting yeah. just not. They're nice. also yeah. not very nice looking. <laughs> too many. Uh, single page. Uh, yeah, let's do that, even though there's crap mm. all over it. So, Karamuho, game program for the Atari 2600 video computer system. Mm. Um, 2023. The snail has embarked on a mysterious journey, far from familiar landscapes. Along the way, it'll encounter various friendly and hostile creatures. Your task is to help the snail reach its goal. The path is unknown, just like you as you navigate through the game. This manual cannot provide you with direct assistance on this journey. <laughs> the only thing the snail knows more than you is, it, is its objective. Oh. 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 There we go. There's some of the creatures that you'll encounter. That's you, Car uh, the snail, Caramujo, which mm -hmm. is um, a s snail in um, uh, Portuguese, mm -hmm. a junior hedgehog, a praying mantis, a bee, a ladybug, a butterfly, mm -hmm. and a moon, moon and clouds. Nice. And some platforms. Yep. Uh, Caramujo, uh, 2023, uh, by uh, Sad. Let me make sure I get the name pronunciation. Saralika. A game developer uh, who lives in Bosnia and uh, Herzegovina. Herzegovina, and Haroldo, Harold, Haroldo, uh, hmm, Haju, <laughs> game consultant in Brazil, and special thanks to what? Who? 
James O'Brien in Canada for his invaluable contributions to this project. Oh, how nice. That's so nice. I love seeing my name in manuals. <laughs> it's always nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did a bunch of uh, game testing oh, nice. for this. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, uh, because I just saw the game uh, when he post posted on that's Facebook. Yeah. And I was like, that's that's really unique and i love platformers yes and i was like oh i gotta talk to this guy about his game <laughs> yeah. and so i talked to him and he got me to uh beta Do test it beta test? Yeah, and nice. which was good because it um it first didn't even boot up on my system oh but it was booting up on his beta on his other beta tester uh Geraldo. So it was good that I was doing some beta testing on my very unique system. Because <laughs> it uh, if anything's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong on my system. Geraldo is in the chat. Oh, Geraldo, hey. Who's oh, your rapper? He's been in the chat oh, forever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> now we nice. know who you are. I uh, collaborated by doing tests playing on Atari. The name Caramujo means snail in Portuguese. Yes. Mm. If James and Tenny keep finding as many bugs as they do, they'll get credit in just about every homebrew. <laughs> My name's in a lot of homebrew uh, game manuals Do you find now. a lot of... Um, I find a lot of... I, I, if if you there is a, a bug to find, I will find Tanya it. Tanya will jump on the moon. <laughs> yes. That's right. Oh, I love that. That that's, That was the best that's one. That's a feature that's That was one bug. of the best ones. That, that was a great show, too. Um, <laughs> so his Facebook post said, do you think I should continue building and improving this video game for the Atari 2600? Mm. Uh, this was in um, early April. Um, there would be various hostile insects in it. Regardless of what you think, it must be admitted that the concept is somewhat original. Mm -hmm. So I was looking at the concept, and he showed some video, I think, or might have been a screenshot. Uh, I think it was video, though, of this really, really slow-moving snail. It's mm -hmm. probably the slowest character in any game I've ever seen. And I was like, okay, that's original. It's mm -hmm. this, a slow, slow platformer. Oh. Where you have... It's more about timing okay and getting through based on because your, your opponents are very fast you'll see it yeah um and then on uh, april 29th the post on atari age says i'm creating a video game which i named caramujo which may, means snail in portuguese um and then he said uh, this game is a mix well let's uh let's actually get into the game yes. and then we can start playing it okay. so let's put on the uh exclusive world premiere um title <laughs> Exclusive world premiere. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's get the uh, double down joystick mm -hmm. and uh, branded with ZPH. And that's for you if you want to load it up. Which one? Uh, it's the first one. There you go. The NTSC later one. land. There we go. Yep. Make sure our volume's good. Caramujo. And there's the uh, initials Developers of the uh, developer and, and tester. Consultant. There you go. <laughs> and little snails on top Aww, of the Caramujo. So Very cute. nice. And I was immediately impressed with the graphics. Um, they're very, very detailed. Look at the key. And you can see the B. Oh, very loud. So as you Goodness. can see, he is he is a slow, slow, slow snail. But the snails are slow. So you can jump over the B as well. Now a little hint. Yeah. It's more forgiving on the front end of the enemies. So okay. if anything, jump late than sooner. Okay. But not not too late. Oh my goodness. So how do I feel? As long off? as you have one pixel left left you can stay on the platform as soon as that one pixel is off the platform then you fall down and you don't fall down super quick but it's not super slow either oh yeah <laughs> gamma dev says that's almost in television launch title <laughs> slow <laughs> hilarious oh it's so cute he's the cutest oh there you go <gasps> he's making it Woohoohoo! Oh my goodness. Um, Mir said, like the name Snail. In the first test, I referred to the game as Caramujo Game, so the name remained. Oh, okay, Snail Game. Yeah, the graph. Look at that hedgehog. He's so cute. Hedgehog Jr. So now the timing starts to come in place, right? He's 
that hedgehog and the bee. Right? So not only do you have to you're not lined up with the one above it, so you have to get up and over. Now there is a time limit on the right hand, bottom right hand side. It is, it is fairly forgiving the time limit, but you yeah. can't take forever. No, obviously. And you do have four lives on the left. Carl G says this looks so cute and fun. It is very very cute. It it does get a lot more oh, challenging, goodness. that's for sure. The timing comes into play when the screen is full of um, wasps or bees. What did he call them? Um, okay, so I'm going to read about this game a little bit. So oh, remember, I'm dead. Ooh, oh, I can jump over him. Yeah, jump a little bit later than that. Only a touch. Ivory Tower Collection, so I've been following this one. I really like the concept of this one. Yeah. yeah, I was immediately attracted to the concept of this. It's just so unique. And the graphics are absolutely beautiful. I can even see the shading on the platform, the bottom platform. <gasps> oh, oh! Oh my god. Oh, that was lucky. That doesn't even look like you were on the platform. No. Wow. Um, so on May 4th, he posted, This game is a mix of a platformer with adventure and strategy. And in one part of the game, there's some sort of shooting involved. In the first three levels, the snail must reach the key to unlock the platform. So this is the third level. Um, well, we'll transport over a gap to the other side so that it can proceed to the next level of the game. In the fourth level, the key unlocks a butterfly that carries the snail to shoot at a bee in the next stage. With the aiming of hitting the key, that needs to be pushed towards the snail to pick it up. Oh my gosh. This is what I'm currently working on in that level, i.e. building the game. Way, oh. way too early. Well, you told me I was too late last time. Oh, no, I said you were too early. Oh, no, you said the opposite. Uh, I, uh, let's rewind. <laughs> I jumped over it, though. You did. You did. It was just a bit risky. You're going to have to jump over that bee anyway. So. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> um, so what is unique about this game, and maybe even original, is that the snail is slow. But its jumps are not. So while playing the game, you don't have to. You don't have the feeling that the snail is slow. There you go. That's probably pretty much the perfect jump. Hardware collision detection for the win. I, I, I think it's software collision, but I'm not sure. Ooh, I was close. I'm slow and can't jump. Pretty close, Jim and Tronic said. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a slow snail. Ooh. Oh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. There's that one pixel at work. Yep. That's a really tiny platform to fall onto. Yes, it is. I would go just before it hits the right hand side. Like, like <gasps> no! no! Smoosh. Too early. Oh no, I have to start all over again. <laughs> yep. Get going, snail. Oh, poor snailies. You can do it, snail. <laughs> whoa! I didn't mean to do whoa, that, whoa. but okay. <laughs> oh, way too early. Yeah. One life left. No. I think you start with five. So five? you have one in reserve. Yeah, I killed a few. Hello, Ricardo Pin. Hey, Ricardo. What if it's better to try falling from the top platform or the second small platform? Well, with the top one, you have more time to fall on the platform. Oh, the I see. I don't one know if you would. Is yeah. very risky. The one second down, because you you would have like one pixel overlay. I'm too early. Oh, I hate it when you like. So. I knew it. I knew it. One life left. Andrew Davy says, "I wonder if there's any gameplay possibilities in leaving a trail of slime." Ah. That'd Perhaps to deter enemies that are faster than you. That's interesting. Because the button is not used in these early levels. So you could possibly lay down a trail of slime that maybe disappears after a while. That would be that would be interesting. The slime? And it could be used uh, it could be playfield too. Because Oh, that was close. Um because, you know, you just lay down playfield on top of the green. And then the, maybe the enemies can't pass over that. It, it may not kill them. The timing's a little off there. There you go. Oh, could do like Stay, Stay Frosty's Frosty Melt Trail. That's yeah. true. That's right. Nice. Okay. 
<laughs> Thank you, Arena Foot. <laughs> What did he say? Three fifty. Uh, yeah, so I think mm. you get um, fifty points for the key, mm. and a hundred points for each level. Mm. Yeah, it starts you off really simple with a very big platform. Oh, an easier mode would be you get one hit and lose your shell, but keep going. Oh yeah. <laughs> then you just become a little slug. That's true. Oh, you lose your home. Oh, that'd be sad. Yeah, it's quite a long. Not if you jump while it moves towards you. No, it, um, uh, what was I going to say? It's uh... a wide platform. Uh, the, the second fall is quite a oh, long fall. Yes. Or not the second one, the third one. Third one. Yeah. I think it's just as high as this one, but I think this one's a wider platform, mm -hmm. so it seems a lot more risky. Um, I was doing testing on this game, so I you played know, it a lot. You, you made it through a few levels, did you? <laughs> the Yes. The falling still is very challenging. Because you have to time it right. Yeah. yeah. If you know the timing, you can do it fairly it, simple. It moves a more narrow distance and it's wider, so it's a little, yeah. little bit easier. Even Ooh. for me, jumping over the bees is, is yeah. you not You have to time it very well. Not easy. How about use up for jump and a button for weapons? <laughs> What weapons would a snail have, Andrew? Well, this does get a weapon. Oh, this it does? does. Yep. Oh. oh, God. Slime? Uh, no, he shoots. But that's not oh. till uh, level five. What does he shoot, slime? <laughs> um, doesn't really state what he shoots. The the um, manual is very uh, obtuse. We're very big. <laughs> Laser eyes like it. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, like the colors are beautiful. Like the shell is a great multi-hued blue color. Like everything has like different um, layers of color. All the uh, all the enemies, the key, um, the snail as well. Yeah. Is there a level where he has to dodge? plates full of garlic butter <laughs> oh oh <laughs> or salt on the ground oh no no there isn't that's mean <laughs> for sure already can, escargot was a thing especially in like the 70s 80s yeah that's true it's not as big anymore is no it? well french food i guess uh, ooh, oh look at that that was very close so maybe a little bit later than what i just did <laughs> Hi, Atari. Awaiting the Turbo Edition of this game. Turbo Edition. Nice. Well, you can play Turbo, it on... Turbo is a Disney... Can, a Disney um, you can isn't there a snail Turbo? I think so. Yeah, yeah. We can play it on Stella and increase the speed. Oh. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Not Disney. Well, something Disney, similar. Pixar. Something similar. Oh. This one has a lot of platforms. And a lot of bees. Mm -hmm. A lot of bees. Oh, no! I was going to die anyway, mm -hmm. either way. Luckily in this That's game, so once you get a key, you have that key. Yeah, you don't nice have to... Um, That's right. DreamWorks. DreamWorks, okay. Someone with kids knows. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen it 500 times. Yeah, exactly. Knows all the animation companies. Yep, yep, yep. No kids, but an animation fan. That's fine, too. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Oh, safe. Save at last. Save at last. Mm, gonna wait. I don't have to jump over that B, because if I jump over the B, it'll send me up a level. That's true. So I have to be a little bit stealthy. How do you get, not get destroyed by that butterfly? Oh, he helps you. Oh, he to, does. To the next level. Oh, cute. You fly in the butterfly. Oh my goodness. Can you actually kill him? No. Oh. 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 My God. Oh, they bounce it up to the key? Yep. Fun. 
This level is the hardest. Because there's not much room to actually no. dodge the. Yeah, an interesting mechanic for getting the key. So. Yeah, you're kind of pushing off a shelf almost. Yeah. You can shoot the lower B if you want. stressful to watch. It's a poor snail on a butterfly <laughs> dodging bees. Stingy, stingy wasps. Ooh, oh, good one stuff. more. That was very close. Oh my goodness, it's so tight. Oh my goodness, it's like they're getting further apart. No, they're the same. Stressful to watch. Oh my god. Now there's a waterfall. Bees, more bees. More bees. Hi, Tari. Stressing me to watch that part. <laughs> it's not easy. I have no lives left. That just destroyed my lives. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Girl G, of all the games involving snails, riding butterflies, and shooting at wasps, <laughs> this has to be the best. It's it's the top of the pile, at least top three. Yeah. Let's see if I can actually make Oof. this level. Looks challenging. Uh, I don't think I can make it. Oh, that was close. To get down and down. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. oh. Luckily. I have cheat mode. Yay, cheat mode! <laughs> uh, level six. Ah. Well, you do want to show off the levels. Yes, I do. It's not a simple game. Oh, I got 100 points just for loading. There you go. There you go. J750. Kids in these days and these quick saves. Like, Get off my lawn, Gamma Dev says. <laughs> I have never seen a creature with greater vertical, vertical power than, than, horizontal, than yeah. horizontal. Well, frogs maybe. Oh yeah. That's... Frogs have pretty good vertical jumping power. Uh, and I don't know if you've seen them. Um, they can jump pretty far too. Sprite jump up because as He's fast good. as he is, he is quite the jumper. Yeah, he's got vertical power. He can jump like seven feet in the air. Mm, six feet. Six feet. Six feet in the air. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very it's high. Quite impressive. Yeah. Do they still have their own Instagram? Yes. They do. I haven't posted photos on there in a while. Is there a jumping one? I should. Yeah, I did put a jumping video on. Yeah. So if yeah. you want to see Sprite jump, what's, yeah. what's their. Uh, Sprite and Atari. Sprite N. N, N, N with, I think, but I can't. N? I can't. Yeah. I don't even remember now. Sprite N Atari. Yes. Yes. You're famous. Got your own account. They need more photos up there. More recent ones. Oh my god, I'm jumping too early. Can you get rid of that yep. picture of food, whatever that is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't read. Stupid notifications. You need to turn off all your notifications. I don't know why. It's one one app keeps popping notifications up. Oh, gameplay mechanic. Press down to withdraw on your shell and protect yourself from the enemy. Yeah. Have you done the thing where you sneakily place a zucchini behind the cat and wait for them to notice it? Oh, that's it so always mean. seems so mean when people do that. They get so. I don't know why they pick so a zucchini. So scared. Anything would scare. Anything cat. would, because they have really poor. Um, Close eyesight. Yeah, they're 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 very very uh, far sighted. 
cats. So if something's close to them, they have no idea what it is. Yeah. That's why they're so scared. They're like, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Poor kitties. This one has multiple keys. But it does show their natural vertical leap. Right? That's true. <laughs> yes. We have uh, what they call a cat dancer. Oh, oh my god! Oh no! Ah. We hang the cat dancer to the top of a window and Sprite will jump <laughs> up to it. It's, it's crazy. That's what he jumps for. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a piece of cardboard yeah. on um, a springy thin wire they love it mm -hmm. oh my god cats that's all it is that. wire and a piece of and they love it even more when you drag it on the ground oh they yeah they go absolutely crazy oh, yeah. for it i think it just looks like a bug yeah yeah because they can't maybe can't quite see the wire yeah they can't see what it is so they just see this thing scurrying around on the ground can i make it no i don't think so oh my god that was close now my goal has been... I don't know if I've fallen that or not. Nope. Not quite. Mm. What does nostalgic say? Andrew Davey, imagine that the enemies could bounce oh. you back while in your shell. Welcome, rendered ghost guests! Hey! Hello! Now seating party of 12. Uh, yes! <laughs> from rendered ghost. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes. We're doing the world premiere of Karim Yuho. The slowest protagonist <laughs> in gaming history. Hello, Chalcedony Mao. Hey, Miss Snomer. <laughs> Wait, I was already here. <laughs> oh, I made it on there. Okay. Hey, rendered ghost. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you so much for joining. Wait, I was already here. That's <laughs> so funny. Okay, level seven. Now. Gotcha. Oh boy. <laughs> raid, says Dan ABC. Raid. Yeah, I got the the, the um, raid sound from a raid commercial. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm in trouble. No, I'm not. <gasps> uh, Those oh bees. God. Those bees. Those bees. Kittens. Yeah, can anybody Terrible. think of a character in a game that is slower than this? Nostalgic 26. Parties of 12 or more will automatically be charged an 18% gratuity. Yep, they will. Or 20% Oh my god, in Vegas. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. You're stuck? <gasps> oh no. You found a bug? Oh, there. Oh, oh no. I was stuck. I couldn't go left. Ooh. Oh, oh. Well, I'm still on level 6. You started over. I'm level 6, though. I oh, I don't think there is a level seven sheet. Oh. Lemmings were pretty six. slow. That is true. Ready. Yeah, six and nine. Yeah, twenty percent here in most places. Too large for parties. Eighteen, twenty percent, somewhere around there. Yeah, they just don't want, you know, people coming in and shortchanging their staff. I like, kind of get it. Yeah, it's like, well, you better tip. This is a lot of work. Because tipping. Mm -hmm. What does everybody think of tipping? Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Isn't it the best thing ever invented? Oh, James. <laughs> That's terrible all around. Trying for to, everyone. Trying to trying to pull people into your. Call me Mr. Pink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be clear, we do tip people, but we do. I just morally you disagree opposed to it. with the concept of it, which I also understand. It's. Not that I yes. don't want people to get paid. I want them to get paid by their employer, not by me. Yeah. Why is well, it? Well, you will pay them in the end because yes. the cost of things will go up. But I do agree. Why is it contingent on me? Yeah. Pay would, them fairly. Yeah. It would be nice if servers were paid a living wage and yes. tips were actually extra. Like if, if they yes. were really exceptional, which I think was always the point. But well, I don't it was know. the point. Yeah, there are self checkout places that now ask if you want to tip. Well, <gasps> I yes, find I there are a lot of places where you just buy something and the tip is on, like that that screen, and you're like, I'm not I'm tipping, tipping the, you because I'm buying a computer? soda at a at a convenience store. Like, yeah, there is no service provided. I brought it to the <laughs> counter. You know, like, it's just it's it's frustrating. Yeah, I think it it's is. frustrating. Just um, to bypass. Paying wages. Yeah. It's terrible. Yep. Yep. 
Can I make it? Nope. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. A lot of places, you know, um, many servers here only get less than $4 an hour because it assumes their tip will make up the difference. It, that's ridiculous. Yeah. They, I it's mean, absolutely if they, ridiculous. If they make $0 in tips, well, they'll probably get fired. But yeah. <laughs> um, they will get paid minimum wage. Yeah. Um, here. Uh, everywhere in the U.S. as well. They have, no, for, they have to go up to minimum wage. They will... If they get no tips? Yeah, they get no tips yeah, but, whatsoever. Yeah, but why should they not get minimum wage to start with? Well, yes. Well, more than that, but Well, yes. more than that, but uh, I don't know. I just find the whole thing ridiculous. It is. Anyway. It's absolutely stupid. Yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah, ivory tower collections. Yeah, in theory, the employer theory. has to make up the difference if they don't get enough tips. Yes. I'm sure there's uh, some... Yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I think probably everybody is in agreement. Yeah, I, I, and then you go to a country like Japan where it's an it's insult an, to your employer if you tip someone because they assume that you are insulting the employer, the employer, the company. The employer is not paying them properly, yeah. which is, in truth, the real thing. Yes, <laughs> this could be a whole segment, lol. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, can I make it? Oh, I BBG made it. BBG Double Down. Unfortunately, I get served by many servers who aren't worth minimum wage. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, this, this oh is hard. Oh, my gosh. This part is really yeah. hard because you're timing two things. Well, three things. Oh. Ah, it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah. Andrew Davey, Australia does not have this concept of yes, gratuity that's or true. tips. Yeah. They don't. We just pay staff well in the first place. And, and if they're doing a bad job, then the employer should fire them. Yeah, minimum wage in Australia. Don't leave is, it up to the to the like, staff, like to the to the customers. Minimum wage in Australia is like twenty five dollars. Is it? Yes, it's wow. really good. Wow. And and prices are more there, but yeah. not relatively more because of minimum wage. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna stop this old man rant. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my lawn. <laughs> Oh, I feel I feel bad me? for people who work in service industries too because it can be incredibly stressful. So, um, yeah. Come on, lower B. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this this is the hardest part in the whole game. This part right here. You just you have to go for can it. Can you not jump? You or will can you you can't jump uh, over him on the edge? You I should try guess that. It's possible. Oh, you're back at six. Yeah. I don't have a cheat for seven. Okay. I only have a cheat for six and nine. <laughs> Please don't call an old man rat. <laughs> when there are people your age in chat rooting you on. It's true. Oh, it's true. We're all in the true. same age range, approximately. I feel I'm in the With old the... man rat age range anyway. I don't yeah. find that an insult. No. A sign of my wisdom. <laughs> That's right. We're all very wise. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Pressing the second button. Which is mapped up. Up doesn't do anything. <laughs> Just take out my frustration. It's not an easy game. It's a challenging game. Um, so what did you like? Oh, how did you do in, uh, the, in Vegas? Me? Yeah. With, oh my God. <laughs> I still haven't count, counted out my cash, which I mean to do. Ah, oh, I can't read your stuff. Uh, yeah. Aw. <laughs> um, pretty much broken even, I figure. I played some slots. I was up a little. I was down a little. I think play? at the end of the day, um, I think I ended up with the exact same amount of money I walked in with. So, you know, I, I consider that a win. Which, which um, game did you play? <laughs> there's a goldfish game um, <laughs> that I'm, I'm quite fond of. And we end up walking around the different... Like, we love walking. We walked all over the place. We'll walk into the, um, into the casinos and... Search I'm not... We'll, we'll literally walk around looking for the goldfish game. Because there's just something about it. And just I, why not? Why not? It's it's a thing to do, and uh, always seem to do reasonably well when I. Oh. What am I doing wrong there? You have to jump over him first, and then. Don't you? No, because. 
Because if you jump over him, you go up to the top platform again. No, you just stay away from the top platform, then That's jump, and then go to the edge. what I just did. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. maybe the timing was a little I off I was then. being too slow, I guess. Yeah. Anyway. I went on my lives back, so I'm just going to fall off this. Oh. <laughs> it should be ch faster to get to the hedgehog. True. Try to jump over the hedgehog. Uh, on the edge? Yes, yeah. that's a good experiment. See, see if you can do that. Like when you're right there. Let's see if I can. No. Ow. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think that's possible. This is the slowest way to do a rage reset. <laughs> it's the slowest rage reset possible. Uh, yes, it is. Couch compliant. Very uh, nice. Yeah, this game is couch compliant. Yeah. Um, there's not, there's no options. <laughs> you just start the game. Mm -hmm. So technically, it's. Uh, oh, the kitties are so sleepy. The gray cat's just off camera, but Sprite got, is just curled up. There. I think at one time we came up Kitty. with like uh, bronze, gold, and silver couch compliance. Oh yeah. Gold is like you, you can do absolutely everything without getting up. Oh. Which would mean reset the game as well. It's very, very, very hard to uh, <laughs> have absolutely everything. Yes, very nice use of color, mm -hmm. playfield, and um, sprite, sprite uh, strips. Scripts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, everything is, uh, all the sprites are multicolored. Mm -hmm. They're absolutely gorgeous. They do look um, great. The playfield is put to good use with sh shading. You can really see it on this one because there's multiple uh, levels of shading underneath the platforms of the of the green um, and good use of horizontal um, roof Oof. see that's as fast as i can do it yeah there is room yeah i just didn't do it fast enough i have to go get the other key yeah makes it very uh, i strange. have to go up here yeah you do <laughs> that has quite the spring in it and then very springy it's a very springy snail. He's got good vertical. You want to do as little jumps, uh, little jumps over the bees as possible. I think it would be very funny if somebody did a speed run of this game. <laughs> yeah, it would be. <laughs> because it, it's possible. Like you can. Oh, of course. You can minimize your jumping and your way you navigate around the levels. Yeah. Yeah. This would be an awesome game to speed run. <laughs> it really would. The slowest, fastest speed run possible. Yeah. Might be the oldest. I'm 56, going to be 50. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. 57 on the 13th. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday. There are a lot uh, of... Uh... I don't think you're the oldest. I think there's older people. Mm. So I'm almost 50. Um... I'm probably on the youngerish side of the demographics Maybe. here. Mm. Not, mm. not. There are I a think few there's some late too. 40s. Yeah, in there are here. a few younger. I know there are a few 30 year olds in there kicking around, but uh, they're they're probably the minority. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Mm. And the odd curious, you know, 20 year old who gets scared off. 43, like, 43 RC 70. 40, 70. There you go. Yeah, You're there the youngest you here. <laughs> Oh, Carl G., we're all the same, almost the same age yeah. then. The same birthday. It's yeah. October for me. Early October. 1964. Mm, there you go. So Andrew Davy is um, late 50s. Mm. I think Andrew Davy. Might everyone beat? Hello, fellow old people. <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, I'm in, I'm in my forties. I won't give away my exact age. <laughs> early, early. Yeah, 40s. not so oh early anymore. Oh my God. Um. Oh my God. Okay. Rage reset on this one. <laughs> I have zero lives left. Can you get any lives back? No, uh. there's no lives back. I'm going to try that jumping over the hedgehog again. The last possible second. Mm. Oh no, I don't think so. Okay, one more go, and then I'm gonna uh, power ahead. Should I should I skip a level? Cause we won't be able to see level eight. I gotta play to level eight, cause I've I have a skip to nine and ten. But you've got to play to eight. 
Well, to oh, you see can't eight, see eight. You can't see Keep eight. Keep playing. This is so cute. Yeah. If you've gotten past this level before, though, it's funny that you're struggling right now. Oh, I know. Ah, it is just, what it I'm... is. Oh my oh. God! <laughs> no raid. No, no. Keep going. You've. I need lives. the lives. I need the lives. <laughs> Spiceware fifty six. Yeah, we're all around the same yeah, age. Yeah, we're all in the ballpark. Forty five to fifty five is like the big. Yes. The hump. Yeah. So forty to sixty. We're 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 a sol solidly Gen X group here. <laughs> solidly. Solidly Gen X. A lot of 50 plus here. Yeah. 45 is the new 20. Or following. Who's following? Tested oh my and God. working. Thank you for oh. following. Tested and working, working is always a good thing. Yep. Paul must be crazy with all these other About numbers. <laughs> is it? Are the uh, twos registering? I don't think so. It has oh, to be. We didn't look at it. Let's click over quick. Yeah. I, I saw a lot of ones. Once a year, most people. Yeah. Then never go to the arcade because oh. maybe there's no arcades well, near them. Well, if there's not a decent one nearby, what are you gonna do? And then um, tied at third place a couple times a year and every month or so. Yeah. Yeah. I think it so depends. So people get out there. It depends on what you there. have available to you too. Yeah, we've yeah. got in Vancouver. We've got one really good arcade. Yeah. It's not super close to us though, so I wouldn't say we go frequently. Eh, we try to minutes. go a couple times a year. 25 minutes. That's really not that bad. Yeah, but you have to get in a car. I mean, let's face yes. it. Well, most you... driving is, is you know, when you when you do as much commuting You're as like, you do, no more driving. No more driving. On the weekend, please. Yeah. Or you minimize it. At yeah. Least. yeah. Oh, God. Why did I do that? Three to foot five. There Never. Mm. Never, ever. Unless you go to Portland Retro Gaming Expo, where you end up around that's, a lot of arcades that's, that's the once not, a year probably for a lot of people i don't know if that counts it's not really does. an arcade it's it like is. a temporary arcade no, it's still an arcade yeah true that's true it's still an arcade i yeah that counts yeah who's going to prge <laughs> It's not coming up super soon, but it's coming up. Yay, Pierre. I mean, the, the tickets are available now. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Vancouver one is in July? June, I think. June? This month? Yeah. Oh my God, that's awesome. I think so. Both? I think so. VRG and PRG put out calls for um, panels. I was very tempted. Yeah. Oh, damn it! I knew it. You can still get onto the platform though. You don't yeah, have as far I, to go. Yeah, but I've only yeah. got one left. No, no, relax, relax. It's very tempted. I, I eventually want to do um, kind of a homebrew overview. Yeah. Not making homebrew. No. But the process mm. of homebrew from start to finish, like. <laughs> Um, would what, would you like, have a panel of people where each person yeah. talks about an el an aspect of development? Like you have a someone with uh, talking about yeah. the music, someone talking That'd about good. sprite design, someone talking about the mm, backgrounds. I don't. No, 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 no. Obviously, code. Um, <laughs> I would games, more. But... I would more have like a programmer. Yeah. And then maybe a um. <gasps> oh. A distributor. Oh. You know, okay. Somebody like Al to talk about. Gotcha. Like the different parts of of making a homebrew gotcha you know i would have a um a developer and then a distributor that's pretty much it oh, okay um you wouldn't have like the development of the game then it's more about how to get your game like made you, into to, a physical yeah how how to take or... it from how to take a homebrew from idea to mm -hmm. cartridge gotcha and i think that would be a a very interesting um topic yeah, yeah. somebody's coming Let's see. Oh, no timing. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Okay, let's get up there. <gasps> Damn it. I can't read those. Can you read them out instead yeah, of reading them to yourself? Yeah, Tron Tronic said, I went to a panel at the Arcade RX in Louisville. They told me to stand there and think about what I did. <laughs> I think it was That's... a homebrew. I don't quite understand that. <laughs> Were you on the panel? Think about what you did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You stand there and think what about did what you, you do? Did. How did you make your oh game? <laughs> okay, I gotta get down here. Oh. No! Oh. Damn it, Deb, that's really exciting. 
Gamadev says, a few weeks back you were bemoaning the yes. demise of Pebble. Pebble. Yes, yeah. I loved it. Very sad. Turns out there is an open source successor called the Watchy. Oh, really? It even has an e-ink display. $60, <gasps> but you have to assemble it yourself. 60? I'll assemble it myself. 60 is nothing. That's good. I have to look that up. Oh, yes. Wow. Snail rage. Or snail rage. <laughs> Tell me if you're ah. sick of me failing. <laughs> I do want to make oh, it Oh, you started over again. Oh, well, my ran goodness. Out of lives. Oh, no. Try to make a date. What time is it? I might have to get another gin and tonic somewhere along mm. the way. Snails of fire. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You have to do much like. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Don't drink in snail. <laughs> yep. I feel like a snail was is more like a a pothead than a yes than a drinker. Just taking it real slow. Really slow. Um. The six million dollar snail. <laughs> oh, I can jump. Aww. Begin snail puns. <laughs> All the snail puns. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go down here. Get down. Come on. Go snail, go. <laughs> Is he delivering snail mail? Oh, very slowly. Very slowly delivering snail mail. The jumps are extremely tight. They are. Okay, go, go, <laughs> go, 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 snail. I'm going nowhere fast, said the snail. <laughs> Very nice. You can't rush this snail. He's taking his time. Oh. He says uh, he's fast enough. He can do it. Just don't rush him. Andrew Davey, do-it-yourself watches has spent a lot of time on the You Watch build programming many <gasps> years back. You and watch? He, yeah. Oh. Don't know that. Calc arm time smaller dot jpeg. Uh, he he posted. Uh, you can click on it. Thinking, yeah. Sorry, it's not going to show up on the screen. Right no, no, no. But... People can click on it on their own. Oh, nice. Oh, it looks like a little calculator watch. That's really cute. <gasps> Duh, I fell into oblivion. That is fun. I always need a calculator. I, I know there's on... one on my phone. What happened? I fell into oblivion. Into oblivion? Well, into the water. Oh. Poor snail. I think this is your last round because we're not getting further than this. If you want to show nine, you I can do. show nine. I do. Okay. Yeah. Eight, eight, <laughs> I'm putting my foot down. Eight can be a mystery to people. <laughs> yeah, we have a yeah. lot to get through. <laughs> Lake Oblivion. A lot to get through tonight. <laughs> what did the snail say to the other snail in its way? I'm going to slug you. Oh, man. <laughs> Are you looking those up? <laughs> <gasps> no! <laughs> I think I just locked out on first Sometimes time I you fell do. down. Sometimes you do. I think I'm going to do it when it's just hitting the left. Yeah, it, that, that should be about the right timing. That was back and forth pretty fast, but yeah. Hi, kitties. It's just level six. I'm not going to make a date, but I'll try. There is a build of the game that has infinite lives, mm. I think. But I can't remember which one, so. <laughs> Nostalgic 26. Would it make you feel better if I said yes? Or that I have a sick enough mind to come up with these on my own? Oh, what did the snail say while riding on a turtle? Hmm. Slow down, something, something. Wee, everyone is Wee. singing. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Carl G. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> when someone jumps, <laughs> gets to the pench line faster than you do. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure people have seen that video of that turtle, like, just booking it. What? Booking it? Yeah, like, going super, super fast. Like, some person, like, let go of the turtle into, like, the water. Oh, what? And right. um, the turtle, like, took off. Come on, oh. come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, cat. Oh, hi. Cat attack. Oh, hi. Hi, cute kitty. Yes. These guys. Okay, this were is where I'm going to fail. Very, very happy to um, get out of cat jail. Get out of cat jail. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh my god. That's that two of them. But this terrifying. one's not too bad because I can time it. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I made it further than before. Why That's does good. it McDee's serve snails? Well, is this a joke? Yes. Uh, oh God, there's be definitely fast food, slow food. It'll yeah. be some pun with fast and slow, right? Of course. Now Andrew Davies asking ChatGPT. Oh, no. uh, what's a snail's favorite video? Oh, because it's not fast food. Yeah, good one, Arena Foot. And then Andrew Davy, what's a snail's favorite video game move? The slime warp, courtesy of Chat GPT. That's, that's not a good joke, <laughs> Chat GPT. I don't the know. Slime warp. The slime warp. Yeah. Okay, 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 go. Oh, what am I doing? What is? Oh, I have to go down. Do you? Yeah. To um, that's not too bad. Just have to make it down there in time. Very nice. Let's okay. do the slime warp Perfect. again. Okay, now... Oh my gosh. Probably when it's coming back. Oh! Ooh, uh, nice! We get to see all the levels! <laughs> nice. I have an extra life, too. It's just a jump to the left. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude, settle down! He's so excited. Settle down, cat. Okay. There's a guy coming on that level. Come on, get your tail out of the way. Hi. Yeah, calm down. Calm down. I don't need your butt in my face. <laughs> Can't remember where they are. Relax. Relax. <laughs> oh, Damn it. No. Is this eight? This is eight, right? This is eight. So he made it to eight. You get to see eight. Yay! Yay! Ooh, there's one up there. There we go. There's one below. Okay, let's go back up because that's the safe one. Safe one. Oh, what? Where do I need to go? Oh, this is oh, not you the go right down. direction. No, no, you go right down to the bottom. Yeah. Right so down? No. You fall Are you off? Choking? No, 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 no. You don't think you would no, no, you would no, catch no, no, that no. bottom lip? Not a chance. Oh. Oh. Not a bloody chance okay. of that happening. Go, 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 go. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's level eight. <laughs> it's hard. Hell. You do, are you showing off nine? Let's pretend Thank I you. made it. Party Ready. time for kittens. Cats 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 cats, 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 cats. All right. Let's and let's, oh my uh, goodness! Look, they need a tiny, tiny break. We can celebrate. So little catnip left. Oh, there's enough. Is there some upstairs? Hope there's some upstairs. There's enough for those kittens. Okay, you guys want some catnip? What's a snail's favorite educational video game? Oregon Snail. Nice. Did I get it? Ooh, I beat Gamma Dev, but he probably <laughs> typed it. No, I beat Gamma Dev. Did I win? Did I win? Oh, oh, oh he's covered in it. Covered. Oh, it's way too much catnip. Come here. Come here. Come here. You want some too. You want some too. Don't he's like, just... I let the little guy get it. Yeah, there you go. Share. There you go. Good There kitties. we go. Okay. Nice and catnipped up there. Thank you so much, Chalcedony Mountain. Nine. Oh. Oh, death of me. Oh, now they're fighting. You silly cats. Fighting. <laughs> He's covered now. Oh, kittens. Oh, I got one. Oh, got it again. Butterflies it are again. cute. Oh, oh no. Oh, it doesn't reset. Well, that's good. Oh no, God. This one you have to um, shoot it more times, and it's all crazy psychedelic colors. It's like Candyland. He's covered. That cat is covered in catnip now. Oh, he goes all crazy. in. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. What sound does a snail make? I uh, uh, don't know this one. a little easier than the other one no it's about the same i think it's the same pattern you just not you need to um get the key further mm -hmm. 
an early dev uh, early builds of this you could keep ki hitting the key all, all off the all all the way off the screen come on and never drop down <laughs> that's when he was just first working on this level i like this change up of um uh gameplay Oh, I think yeah. it's nice to throw in a couple of different levels in, in, in platformers like this. Definitely. You need a boss or you need some sort of different yeah. type of gameplay every Crunch. once in a while. Oh, Arena. What, what was the question again? <laughs> he says, what sound does a snail make? Oh. oh. <laughs> so mean to the snails. Uh. Oh, there we go. Every time... <laughs> Every time you hit it, you have to shoot it just a little bit later. I think we're going to go for the bottom one. Oh. No. I think I need to, still need to go for the top guy. Oh my god. <laughs> so pretty. Really, really like all the um, characters. Yeah. He, he thought that um, changing up the color would be a, a good a good change from the from the last one. To no, it makes sense. Give it a yeah. different look. Well, it was bees last time, so and the color, the background too. I love the mushrooms and the has a real. Secret Garden fantasy kind of. Uh, yes. So like the Dr. Seuss level, yeah. Yes. It does have a Dr. Seuss vibe going on. What is a snail's favorite drink? Ah ha ha, slow gin. Oh my god! Nice. Oh my god. Okay, let's do it properly. Slow gin, I don't know that drink. Slow gin? I don't think I've ever had slow gin, but. What's in it besides gin? I've never had it, so I don't know. Ask chat, like. chat GPT. Ask chat GPT what <laughs> slow gin is. Yeah. They'll get it wrong, but at least you'll get an answer. <laughs> oh, God, that was close. Oh, my God. Siri can answer that question. <laughs> okay, do the bottom <laughs> How do snails keep in touch? They use shell phones. These are terrible jokes. Yeah. Chat Carl G, at least it gives wrong answers with confidence while citing fake <laughs> <That's> sources. <right. laughs> if you're gonna be wrong, be confident about it. Ah <laughs> Marco Johannes. How much will one need to shell out for this game? Oh, it's free. It's going to be free. Is it? I believe, yeah. Nice. I think. <laughs> uh, he's going to release it after the show. Oh, okay. Um, Downloadable version? Yep. Nice. I don't know if it's going to be limited anyway, but I don't think so. Yay! Yay! Okay, level 10. Now, there was... Um, there was a debate mm -hmm. about whether I should show the ending you to this game. You should not. You should not? You should okay. show every single level. <laughs> We're not trying to, like, play the whole game. I think people yeah. will want to play it for themselves. So I would say don't. Okay. Let and people that's kind of end. what I thought, too. Should we be concerned about the red water? Yeah. <laughs> We're now over a, a volcanic um, <laughs> right. fissure in the earth. And... Uh, Okay, that's I can't show anymore. Okay, leave it at that. Leave it at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that'd be good. Because it's it, I think you'll kill its sails for free. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, the ending's very cute. Yeah. So I think yeah, it's best to to leave the ending because we can play the game. It's, it again is a little bit time. special the ending. Yeah, so, let people let yeah. people get their get their way to the ending. But I did I didn't finish level eight, which kind of sucks. But it's it's a challenging game. It is. It is completely possible. No, it does not involve garlic <laughs> butter. They slug it out. Uh. <laughs> uh, so really cute game. Mm. Uh, the graphics are absolutely beautiful. Very 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 um, nice graphics. The concept is completely unique. Mm. I've never 
seen a game like this before with these kind of mechanics of being slow mm -hmm. is the point of the game. Yeah. Um, great platformer with um, really tight timing. Yes. Um, reminiscent of really early 8-bit computer games where you had to do very tight platforming. Mm. and jump over things um, very, very specifically. Mm. Um, those are very hard games, as is this one. So this is um, this is going to, I think, challenge a lot of people, especially getting through it with the lives that you're given from the beginning. Mm. Um, what do you think of it? Oh, like it's it? adorable. I love it. It is super adorable. Yeah, I really yeah. like it. Yeah, love okay. the backgrounds and the uh, sprites in it and the whole thing. So That's he said great. he's going to post the game. Okay. Um, I'm guessing on the Atari Age forums because nice. he does have a thread there if you want to look that up. Yeah. And I don't know, bookmark it or keep checking back. Yep. <laughs> Snail humor. St Sammy Lightfoot. Very, very similar. Um, I really like Sammy Lightfoot. Mm. There was a lot of memorization and timing in that. Mm. And it was just, just really, he was really slow in that game too, actually. Yeah. Sammy Lightfoot. Yeah. It was kind of like Donkey Kong. There was barrels coming, but there was mm. also trampolines. And, and moving platforms. One level that I really liked in Sammy Lightfoot, um, and I'd love to make this into a, a remake this into a 2600 game or incorporate it, mm. is he went on a flying carpet and you had to move in the same direction as the flying carpet, but it constantly changed directions. Oh, okay. And if you went in the wrong direction, you would start moving off You'd the fall carpet, off it? And you'd fall off it. Oh, so you yeah. had to keep... It's kind of like timber. Oh, yeah, yeah, where yeah. Where you're in the log rolling. Oh, yeah. Right? And you, and have, you have to, to keep go adjusting. with the log rolling. Yeah. It's almost exactly the same, except it's left and left right, and except right. up and down. Cool. Yeah. Um, so next up, we're going to be checking out When Hop, hmm. um, uh, The Search for Planet X by Andrew Davey. Um, and uh, Constantinos Giamalidis uh, Tix, who did the player sprite graphics. Um, so, let's load it up. Ready. When and hop? Change the cartridge oh. graphics. One second, one second, one second. And go for it. Oh, have a good night, Carl G. Good night, Carl G. Thanks for checking out yeah. Cam Yuho. Ho. Just gonna adjust the volumes here. This one's a little bit louder than the last one. So, there's lots to talk about in this one. Um, and we we debuted a very early engine of Wenhop um, in early 2021, about two years ago. Um, and also we showed the spinning planets and the rockets, which are going to be part of this. Okay. They're not in it right now, but they're okay. going to be part of it. Mm -hmm. Tanya, start on Mars, please. <laughs> <laughs> I am starting on Mars. I'm not and, I'm not going wimp. high up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, let me just turn it down a little bit more. There we go. So, Wenhop, the search for Planet X. This is an old summary, but it's still relevant. You're the very, very famous and dashingly handsome spaceman slash explorer slash all around good guy, Melon Husk. Okay. Mm, that be? Um, to save humanity from the great filter that you fear is coming soon, you're on a mission to find Planet X so that you can establish a new human colony and safeguard the future of humankind. Mm -hmm. Using your trusty rocket ship, you can see it in the distance there. Yeah. Um, inspirationally named ship, you're on a mission to visit the moons, <laughs> planets, and asteroids of the solar system to find mm -hmm. that elusive new home. Your goal at each stop is to mine enough Dogecoin, yes, in the form of actual physical coins, enable to you to buy enough rocket fuel to continue your quest. Mm. Getting the Dogecoins would be a matter of solving puzzles and avoiding aliens on the planet. Mm. It's going to be very much an action puzzler. Oh, cool. Uh, each planet location has its own gravity. Terrain will have different characteristics, for example, uh, friction on an ice planet, underwater swimming, I hope to spend some considerable effort on variation, variations in controls. The terrain is fully navigable, navigable on a per pixel basis rather than character graphics. That is, Husk's movement is freeform over the character background. Uh, you cannot 
dig underground, but you can follow existing passages, and of course you can use tools. You will be able to pick up and drop some objects, such as explosives and rocks. Um, not everything is accurate to this description. Mm. Yes. I know Andrew Davey was saying, it's a tech demo at the moment, please yeah. understand, it's not a game right now. It's not now. a game, it's not, there's not really a, a goal at the moment, but a lot of the things are in the game. In the in game, the game in the tech demo, show. Okay. there's a ton to show off. So mm. that's why I thought it was at a good point now. It's kind yeah. of a midpoint where of the engine yeah. is very mature. Oh, okay, good. good. Um, but it's not at a, a game stage just yet. Game design is dynamic, so it's diverged a bit. Yeah, mm. some of this stuff is not. It's not quite accurate. But this was the original write-up for it. Yeah. So it gives you a. Yeah, Andrew Davis. That blurb is quite old now. I hear it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, use rocks to allow you to reach stuff or to drop on enemies or to block off exits. Use explosives to open up new passages. Underground, you can crawl along diagonal passages. You cannot move up. You have to jump or climb. That's not accurate anymore. Okay. Um, you may even be... You... There may even be some alien superstructure buildings. Maybe you can even go inside for a sub-level of the planet. Whatever I can implement. Maybe a rocket pack. <laughs> so, this is all in flux. This is okay. just ideas he was throwing out. At the moment, the player sprite is just there to allow me to scroll around. It's not coupled to the background. This I'll skip all this. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Out comes Spaceman Husk, and then you're in control. So, if you're going to be landing on the planet. That's not in this. Um, but you'll kind of just be put on the planet when right you now. first start. Okay. Um, once you get enough Dogecoin, you go back to the ship and it lifts off. Huge animation for the next, next adventure. And we have shown the rocket on the show. Absolutely astounding looking. Mm -hmm. And he showed, and um, Andrew put like five rockets on the screen. This engine is so flexible. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. You can do anything, anything with it. Um, okay, I'm going to skip the rest because he kind of re-explains it later, and a lot of this is not Should I start playing? accurate. But at the bottom he says, wow, so various, <laughs> wow, such examples, so much blast, so such first, so much object, such matter, very necessary, so physical, such space map. Um, and there's a massive discussion on the Atari Age forums, 422 posts. Oh, wow. Over two years, so oh, we wow. want to go through that. And he's and Andrew's been posting updates, the binaries, all, all along the way. And yeah, Andrew says everything is playfield except for the player sprite. And the, the only thing that is not playfield is the planet names and the little rocket in the background. And um, Andrew sent me a summary of all the things that are implemented in this. So, cool. play? oh, the music. Okay, so which planets are in the list? There's Mars. Yeah, Mars, Uranus, Uranus Saturn, Saturn, four. four. <laughs> and Bravado is... Wimp, Wimp Bozo, Bozo, Hero, Hero Tragic, Tragic, Maniac. Tragic. Yeah. Wimp and <laughs> TV Systems, NTSC. And nothing. PAL, CCAM. Okay, we'll just do NTSC. <laughs> and I go back to NTSC. So press a button and start us off. There we go. So the only thing on the screen that is a player graphic is the spaceman. So let me bring up. You can wander around. And that's a tap. You can oh, turn on and off the tap. Oh. So go back down to the tap. So might as well start at the tap. Well, I turned it off. Oh, come back on. There we go. Oh. Really? And there's water flowing out of it. So leave it on for the time being so we can see all the water below. Okay. There you go. So, um, this is currently CDFJ 32K. I'm moving towards CDFJ plus. Uh, the previously demonstrated spinning globe clo uh, code will be included. So it's pouring onto a rock. So destroy that rock. Kill that rock. Dig that rock. Tap, tap, tap. There, look at that. So it's all drawn with playfield. Every single thing is drawn with playfield. Um, uh, let's see, the previous demonstrated yeah. spaceships will be included. There'll be in between planet sequences where you take off from the planet. We see the globe showing the next planet with a text overlay describing it, uh, like the title screen, six sprites over playfield. Then you have to uh, have a landing in your ship sequence to start playing the next one. Uh, interleaved chrono color. So if you've seen some of uh, Andrew Davies other uh, games that he's made, like the chess game, 
and uh, oh. Sokabu. Mm. They're all using um, uh, Chrono Color with the three uh, playfields to, to make up like a CRT emulation almost, like red, re red, green, blue. So he's picked. Um, and this one is interlaced, turns into coins. Yeah, super smooth graphics. Uh, this He said this may interfere with the stream, but I think it's doing okay. How does it look out there? Nobody's complained about it yet, about the uh, the look of it. Well, it seems to be holding pretty steady. If I'm looking at the uh, output, yeah, it's pretty good. Looks fine. Excellent. Because there is an option, I'm going to switch it really quickly to turn it off. It still looks fine, but just not as much detail. So we'll leave it on. Um, uh, circular swipe, is you, if you saw it at the beginning when you went out to the planet, um, it, this is first done by Dianoid, and he's incorporated into this as well. See the presses? Just absolutely oh. amazing. Oh, you got... What happened to you? Something you got squished? Fell on me. <laughs> oh, things can fall on you. That well, there's is... also this snake that's kind of running around. He, he doesn't kill you, so you're fine with that. Yeah. Um, Please leave the tap on. It's pretty. Yes. It is pretty. It's so nice. So you can wander around after you die. Oh, and in different colors. Tap, tap, tap. Um, particle system. Used everywhere. Basically, there are 16 particles. A single white-only playfield Trixel. A Trixel is three scan lines deep, representing one ICC pixel, interleaved chronocolor. So he is. Um, Some falling you? There. No, I don't no? think so. Hmm. Get the tap running. <laughs> uh, the oldest is removed when new ones are generated and need a slot. Particles can move in any direction at any speed. So the engine is extremely flexible. Music sound system. Oh, I think I can turn that a little bit. There we go. Not that loud. Um, this is the first functional sound system I have written. Uh, not me, Andrew. Uh, music track fades in and out as sound effects happen. Any... Oh, that's a little too loud. Any out of tuneness is likely my inability to, rear, to really hear tones very well. And of course, the 2600 limitations, but mostly mine. The song is Music for a Found Harmonium by Penguin Cafe Orchestra. Controls. Hold button and move to lay pipe. So you oh. can put your own pipe down if you hold the button. So you put some pipe down and you can also erase it using the same thing. So you can use the pipe to block off the snakes if mm. you want. Or to trap yourself. Um, double click the button to bring up the tool menu. So try that. Double click. Ah. So there's the tool menu. You've got a little wrench there. Do it again. So he says the only tool now is the pipe tool. So it's a it's a tool kit of one. But you saw the tool is an overlay on the screen. So bring up the tool oh, again. I can't do that. Can you move with the tool or does it disappear after you um, move? Double click. Now move around. Yeah. So you can keep it overlaid. So keep uh, scroll the screen with the tool up. Bring up the tool again. I want to see the screen scroll. Okay, now scroll the screen. Yep, that's astounding for a 2600 game. I have never seen this in a game before where there's an overlay and everything's scrolling underneath. Absolutely amazing. Oh, Andrew says you cannot go down if something's above you. It will, it will fall, fall on, on you. you. Okay. So there is gravity in a sense. Yeah, there is gravity. He's got his jetpack on. So you can see as there's like dust behind him. It's like absolutely astounding. Oh, oh, oh. Too much stuff going on, on the screen at that point. Um, click again to remove. F1 to select next planet. F1 plus F2, select and reset. Rage quit. Title screen flashes red. Rage, rage, rage. He's, he's implemented a rage quit detection system. You could do a nice version of Mr. Driller with this. How do you Ooh, you could. Oh, uh, you do it. You press it again to get rid of it. Yeah. Hold it down again. Not that I nope. can tell. Oh, now I'm dead. Well, How do I get rid of it? No. Um, 
Let's see. Nope. No? Dead. Oh. Oh, now you're really stuck. Reset time. Yep. Let's do a rage quit. That's okay. Oh, there it is. You see that? You, did, you didn't see it? No. The screen went red and then <laughs> faded away. <laughs> nice. The first rage implemented quit. rage quit in a game. Yeah. <laughs> like an actual rage quit. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Uh, he says, since I detect rage quit, I'll have something funny to say or do at that point. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, Andrew Davies says, the red flash showed it detected a rage quit. Detection, detection, rage quit. Uh, objects. All objects are playfield, composed of characters 4 by 10 trixels in size. A trixel is one playfield pixel wide. So it's one playfield, but three high. Three playfield uh, pixels deep. Oh, deep. So literally like deep. So it's, it's, it's moving between three different colors. Stop hanging around the top, Andrew says. I don't want to die. Well, just go straight down and you'll never die because nothing will fall on you. What? Because nothing can fall on you if you go straight down. Well, if you go to the side and then down, something can fall on you. Uh, there are eight colors formed by various on-off pixel in, uh, pixels in the trixel. Oh, that coin will fall on you if you go down. There you go. Wormies are your friends. Are they? Yeah, they won't hurt you. He says, just go straight down. I tell her that, but she doesn't listen. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, there's water. Transparent water. Careful, don't die. If you're down there for too long, you'll die? No, just things were above you. Like coins and stuff, so you just don't. So you can see bubbles coming up? Yeah, it's cute. I like that. Absolutely astounding. Oh my god, the snake's getting big. The worm's getting big. Um, the playing area is 40 by 22. So obviously 40 across, which is the default uh, play field size for 2600. And um, 22 characters high. The score is overlaid, also drawn in playfield graphics. So you can see the score is also overlaid and everything's scrolling under the score. Oh, did you do a gravity flip yet? Oh, to the left. There's a little um, arrow. Did you get that? I didn't see it, no. Okay. It's the gravity flip to the left. Um, oops, oh. squish. <laughs> Uh, oh, there it is. Now you're the opposite way, and everything changed gravity. See, everything fell to the top of the screen. Cute. Absolutely amazing. Oh, where oh. did that come from? Oh, no. <laughs> Cute. Fine scrolling is awesome. Yes. And it's changed colors. Um... We get a large, much larger playfield error because we don't reserve blank space for score. Yeah, the score is incorporated into the screen. Um, the rounded corners on the dirt is dynamically created during screen draw. Uh, creatures, the player, sprite graphics by TIX on Atari Age. Uh, amazing animations look super smooth and high res. Oh yeah, the, the animations on the player character is really good. The running and especially the trail behind him. Trail of dust or dirt, I guess like Pigpen from Peanuts. Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, what'd you get? Duh. You got lots of coins, I guess. Enough coins to take off, maybe. Um, cute little turnaround animations if you push up and then, then let go. So push up and then let go. Yeah. Do it again. Goes up. And he turns around. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, the animation is stunning. TIX is so good at graphics. Um, player moves at different speeds through the clear space, water, lava, and dirt. So that's really cool. Um, if you push against a rock, you dig, which you've shown already, and eventually it shatters. So you can see the little pickaxe. Digging underneath them too. Dig, mm -hmm. dig, dig. And I think at one point he didn't have digging up or down. You had to dig to the side. Too much stuff on the screen. <laughs> still, still a work in progress. 
Andrew says, stop going to the top. <laughs> I'm going to the top. I have to get back to the graphy flip. Ah! Ooh, careful. I would go up, 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 up. There we go. The, the water is uh, anti-gravity. <laughs> oof. 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 Struggling with Lots that. Lots of stuff going on. Um, oh. Oh, God. Okay. If you push against, <laughs> the, uh, against a geodod, doge, eventually it turns into do a, a doge coin, which you've demonstrated yes. as well. Yep. So much going on. It's great. Yeah, it is great. <laughs> Sorry for the glitches. I don't see it on emulator. Just a bit of time overflow. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. It's a proof of concept. Or not a proof of concept. It's a work in progress. Okay, so let's go to the next level. I think we've explored everything on this. Hold it down. Oh. Go to the next planet. Here he is. Ah, the worms! The worms are everywhere! Um, if a coin is beside other geodoges, a chain reaction happens. Have you seen that? Yep. Where you hit one and they go... Tch -tch -tch -tch. So there's a chain reaction of two. So if you make them all drop down and collect them all together, so if you dig the dirt um, out. out from underneath and drop everything down as far as possible, um, you'll get um, a huge block of them. And you'll see... Um, some special things happening once you get enough of them together. Uh, there's a whole backstory somewhere about the th on the thread about critical mass of geodoges. Uh, if you push against a tap, it turns the flow of water on and off. We saw that. Those look dangerous. <laughs> um, Can I hit them? Uh, try it. Oh, oh, nope. earthquake! I think that they're part of the conveyor belt there. So go oh. drop something on the conveyor belt. Oh, too late. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, next one. Oh, that one compacts it down. Ooh, lava. Oh, into the lava. Is there anything above that you can uh, drop onto the conveyor yeah. belt? Yeah, should start over. Yeah. Watch the rage quit. Rage quit. So go down to the... Oh, oh my God. The, 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 the thing you killed Set up me. for failure. <laughs> ah. Oh, he was right on top. He was good. Fine. Uh, Dogecoins. Collect a certain number to exit the planet. Not fully implemented. Some screens you can exit. Some you can't. Oh, the gears are TIX. Oh, okay. Some of them are done by TIX. Okay. Gonna have to disable up. Um, at this, this is a test bed. I'm not working on actual levels yet. Uh, pebbles scattered around the dirt. So I'm not sure if you can go in the lava. Ooh, I think you might be able to go in the lava for a little bit. And you die. Oh, you're going, are you slowed down now? No. No. Um, scattered around the dirt. These will turn into, uh, dough. Oh, there you go. Drop those onto the conveyor belt and they should go to the... Right. There they go. Look at them go. Follow them. And they got squished. Oh, no, I missed the squish. Okay, we'll follow that one. Follow it, follow it, follow it. Squish. <laughs> squish. Of course, you don't want that to happen in a real game. Of course not. Because that's the coins. That's how you get off the planet. So that will be like a danger thing. So like don't, don't destroy them. Try not to destroy them, so they'll be set up to be destroyed, and you have to prevent them from being destroyed. Uh, geodoges. Uh, these are rocks with deal deal dodge doge coin. Oh my god, these words. Doge coin inside. You can mine these geodoges as they turn into doge coin. Geodoges are highly reactive and will spontaneously combine with adjacent geo geodoges. The grouping is called a conglomerate. Uh, a conglomerate of doges. If you mine a geodoge conglomerate, a chain reaction occurs, just like that. Uh, chain reactions multiply your points based on their size. So you want to get... A really big one. To co collect them all together as much as possible. Well, there's the curves uh, he was describing earlier. The, the dirt against the side, mm. it had a curve to it. On its own, it didn't have a curve. That's very cool. Oh! Good night, Spiceware. Good night. Hope you feel better soon. Now what? 
Uh, did you get everything in this level? I uh, don't know. Go into the lava. Oh, there's stuff in the lava. Oh, stay in the lava. Maybe you die. Ooh, get deeper into the lava. Oh, all the way down. And you're, you're moving slower in the lava, right? Oh, the exit! You made it! You made Back it to Earth! Earth. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. I think that's not what you're supposed to do, but we'll get to that. I have no idea. <laughs> I know. No one's told me anything. Because <laughs> I don't think it's quite enough. Oh, you can see the edges are mm -hmm. curved, the dirt in the corner. So nice. Um, I'm just going to skip ahead to that you one. Ate everything. This screen, you can't do anything. There's a trick to completing it. Now you're stuck. Oh, uh, well, it's reset. okay. So go to Earth again? There's no Earth. Oh. That's okay. Go to another planet. Oh, perfect. Okay, don't do anything. Okay. Um, this one has a trick. The okay. single pebble takes time to turn into... Oh, I see. Uh, uh... A oh, you ate it. You need to wait for it to convert. Oh, I have yep. to restart again. Nope, you're good. Nope, restart again. Oh, you ate one already? Yeah, I just slid down. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Do it. It says Saturn, but it's actually Earth. No. You could have completed it. Really? That's oh, okay. That's all right. Um, okay, let me read this out. This has a trick. The single pebble takes some time to turn into a geodoge. Mm. If you're too quick, then you simply dig through the pebble and there aren't enough doge coins to collect to open the door. So you have to actually have to do nothing for a bit to complete this one. There you go. So is that the only one you have to wait for? Yes. So it had a little... Uh... Oh, there it is. There's the exit. The exit. Oh, it did work. Now you're on Mars. This one has a gravity flip. You have mm. to go through the first one, but then you need to dig the boulders until the second comes down. Go through that to reverse gravity again, collect the coins, and you can exit. Oh, now we have to dig the boulders. And then it says, uh, go through that one to reverse gravity. Oh, you didn't go through it. I don't need it yet, though. And let those fall. Don't go down. Oh, it actually doesn't matter. There's enough room. And then you can complete it. Yay! There you go. Perfect! You did it perfect! perfect! Uh, fifth, not much happening here. Skip to the next one. But well, you can explore it. That water's so awesome. And when something goes through it, like you, um, it cuts off the water. Oh, look! The water's stuck! <laughs> it's it's pouring upwards, but the gravity is pushing it downwards again. Oh, it's a big screen. Let's see the water. Yeah, the water can't go any further because <laughs> of gravity, I'm guessing. Oh, it's splashing on itself. Did you see that? Right there, it's splashing back, back on itself. It, I guess the the uh, pipe has some pressure enough to go up a couple, then it comes splashing down again. I like that all the wormies get caught in the water. They're like oh, oh, oh nothing there. to show here. Skip to the next. Okay. Come on, let me up. I think it's. Let's see what skip is. Just about shown everything now. Yeah. Go ahead, a screen or two. Hit select and go ahead a screen or two. Oh, just select. There we go. Oh my god, it's crushing time. Look at all the chaos that's happening on this screen. Oh my goodness. This is more like a maze to get through. So that you don't get pushed around because if you get um, under one of those crushers it'll push you all the way to wherever it's uh oh you can actually manipulate them maybe by putting pipes against it try and block that one that's try and oh, block one of them 
Like, ooh, oh, I've done ooh, that that's before. that's gonna squish you, I think. I've done that before. Oh, maybe not. Does it squish you? It does. And kill you? Might. When they squish together? Andrew says, it's just showing a variety of gameplay that is possible. Oh, you put a pipe. Nice. Oh, ooh, there's some. Uh, let's see, where was I? Um, oh. Worms. They eat Dogecoin. Ah. So you've got to be careful. After you mine it, they will eat it if they encounter ah. it. Whoa. Uh, can flip head to tail. Uh, they grow when they eat Dogecoin. Oh, they shrink when they hit a dead end. They breed when they're underwater or under lava. That's why one of them was going... Oh, your score's going up so quick. What is happening? I won. I, oh. I, I finished the level. Oh, and that should count down your, down your time. These Again, these screens are not designed except those two small ones. Yeah. Well, you did finish it. Oh, okay, there we go. Let's, um, I think we've seen all of them. We've seen this one? Yeah. Yep. Okay, I think we've seen Oh, nope, this one's a little new. This one's different. It's crazy. Cool stuff. Um... Let me just explain all the other things. Grinders, cog-like spinning thing, pushes rocks and geodes and dogecoin uh, in one direction, because grinding screen shake when the player tries to move on them also form conveyor belts. We saw those. Crushers, extend as far as they're able, then reverse direction, or crush or push various objects. Faucets, generate a stream of water or possibly lava, to be turned on and off, push against tap from any direction. Um, the flowing stream of water is really, really, really difficult to get looking good. I think it looks amazing, the water. Not too bad given the resolution. Water slowly rises, or with negative gravity, falls. Can dissolve certain things like dirt. There's bubbles underwater, which we saw. Player shows breathing bubbles too, and sound to match. Uh, lava melts most things. Nice bubble background animation giving the lava effect. Splashes of lava on the lava top surface. Particles. Um, do we see the splashing lava? Is this a lava lava level? Let me go down to the bottom and see if it's a lava level, because I don't remember seeing the splashes. And the rest... Oh, not, not lava. But we can see the bubbles. Too much stuff on the screen. There we go. So stand still. Bubbles. And the bubbles are going through the rock! It's amazing. Rocks are forcing us over time. Over time. RC70 says, I have a new synth I'm playing with. My kid flipped the preset right before we went up for bed. I came back and hit a key. The arpeggio, it was on super close to the game's song. Very cool. Um, so this newest version um, has minor mods for the water stream. Uh, now it's permeable, so example, the worm can go through it and the crusher can push you right through it. Looks fantastic. Everything looks amazing. Go, um, step into the pusher and watch it push you like oh. right at, no, 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 stay, stay way over there. Push in the pusher. And then go up to the pusher. Don't walk over and then go up. Whee! <laughs> it can't scroll as fast as, as you're being pushed. So those, uh, those wormies are growing in the water. If you're not on the razor's edge of going over cycle, you're doing it wrong. Exactly. Pushing it right to the limit. So the flexibility of this engine is unbelievable. So you can pretty much show anything you want in this resolution. It's, it's amazing. And, and four-way scrolling, absolutely amazing. So you can make, if, if you work within the resolution of, of, the, um, of the engine, you can make it look like anything. And I'm, and I'm guessing you have to, you pick certain pixel colors for the play field. And these ones are making like white and brown and blues and a little bit of red. There's two kind of brown colors there. It's really, really nice. So I think we've shown everything. 
Unless uh, Andrew has uh, something more that we uh, need to show. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> Good job today. <laughs> Thank you. You're impressed, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> well. Showed off all the things. It is a very cool. Um, it looks very cool. It plays very well too. So yeah. yeah. So he's implemented a lot of different things in the. So now it needs to be formed into a game. And and the basic premise is get enough coins. Yes. To get, to get off to the, the next planet level. to get to the next level. Yeah. And things are in your way. Yes. Very cool. I like it. Yes, I can't wait to uh, see what. Yeah, my goal is to develop a variety of gameplay elements. Yes. And I think there's oh. a fair decent. Don't don't press it. Just leave I it hit in. it. It's... Oh, I leave it pressed in. Okay. The player graphic is ridiculously yes, fancy. Yes, it looks so good. The colors on it. Oh, the he's so good. I love how he turns around too. So good. Oh, and it the is running so good. animation. Yeah. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Okay, we are on to game mm -hmm. number three, the last one. Ready. Um, and this one is <gasps> Dragon Chalice. Dragon Chalice. Don't Woo. load it up yet. Okay. Uh, let me change the graphics. And thank you, Andrew, for uh, being in the chat and yes. filling in any blank spaces that we needed. And uh, yeah, it looks absolutely stunning. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me switch out the graphics for the cartridge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have some instructions for this game. Let me try not to uh, mix up the pages because I didn't staple them yet, which I'll do right now. So I don't mix them up. <laughs> Oh, is there notes we need to write? Oh, uh, high scores. High scores. Very nice. There's a lot of manuals. Oh, there we go. You write, uh, your, write your score down. Write your scores into yeah. the manual and destroy it. Um, of course. I would never write in a manual. No. <laughs> Even as a kid, I would just wouldn't destroy stuff. <laughs> so I think I collected comics from a very young age, so I was very oh very careful about conscientious my stuff. about not like scribbling on them and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Did you write your name in books though? Never wrote. Really? Never Not just... even in pencil, just to say, like, no. James, yeah? No, I don't think I defaced anything of wow. mine. Yeah, I was very careful about that mm. kind of stuff. So we have Gemintronic in the chat. Yay. So this uh, this game is by Gemintronic. Let me scroll down in my notes here. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, so this is the exclusive world premiere of Dragon Chalice. I've been... Probably everybody's seen uh, him posting on Facebook groups in the Atari mm -hmm. Age forums uh, about this game, screenshots, and I don't think he's posted any videos, so this would be the first video uh, that anybody's seen. He, he also did uh, Catacombs of Chaos, Conjoined, Dead of Night, Game Panic, uh, RVG Blast, Up. I love Up. That's a great game. Um, mm. It's like you are the enemy in the game. Like... And somebody's like playing breakout and you're trying to b get through the breakout as the other guy is. Yeah, it's really cool. Hmm. Um, and uh, Walking Dead and a whole bunch of other stuff. So this is available um, right now for pre-order. If anybody is interested in this game and um, picking it up, let me just show that screen right now. Um, from 8-Bit Milligames, there's the uh, cover of the box for use with the, only with the Light Six Sixer. Switch. The Light Sixer? Only Light Sixer. Six Switch Light Sixer. <laughs> no. Um, it shows the manual, which we're looking at right now. Actually, I'll post this in the chat if anybody's interested. There you go. Uh, conjoined. There we go. Uh, in stock. So $50. Twin Dragons. Rangry and not, not now, now. <laughs> must return the wizard's chalice. Nice. Um, so they're in pre-order right now. They're going to be shipping the first week of July, nice. so in about a month. Um, so there you go. And uh, yeah, you can see the cartridge right there. And all the manual pages. Oh, actually, it's start on that. There's the back of the box. 
twin dragons rang three and not now must return the wizard's chalice gather mm -hmm. items to unlock castles allowing exploration into neighboring kingdoms torches and magical eyes allow hidden items to be seen nice <laughs> game features ntsc and pal 60 supported three worlds password load and save 32k rom uh difficulty modes novice b more time before enemies spawn uh coordinates with a uh, region within region are coordinates within region are displayed in kingdom colors owned items work even if not currently equipped mm. and expert spikes in some rooms start darker slightly varied enemy graphics and movement many overworld alterations mm. bring the chalice back into storage to reclaim your honor <laughs> 2023 very uh cool so we uh, are going to be playing it mm -hmm. um Features one or two player cooperative adventuring. So we can play this one together. Nice. Um, you'll start off by yourself. Okay. <laughs> um, well, we've played on easy mode. Okay. And, for a and little bit. For a little bit. Okay. Then we will play together. Okay. 256 plus 256 hard mode worlds. So you can uh, generate many, many different levels. Um, okay. Let's load it up. I'm going to actually plug in um, the second joystick so we're prepared. Excellent. For two players. Careful, there is um, catnip over everything over there. Oh, he like well. he like rolled in it and then shook it all over the floor. It is and time for the, vacuuming anyway. Yeah, so. and all over the uh, joysticks. So. Good kitties. Good kitties. They <laughs> Good had their kitties. treats and they had their catnip. Yeah. Hey, hey little fluffy cat. So if you want to load it up. Oh, I excited him. I didn't mean to make no, him think it was a... fine. He's still still cleaning up. There we go. So. Load her up. Oh, Ooh. actually, we have to play. Why am I yawning yet. so much right Not now? Yet. Need some sleep. I do need some sleep. <laughs> so this is an exclusive world premiere. Wrong one. Not, not the intro. <laughs> Wrong one. The intro is cool, but let's play the uh, actual thing. <laughs> Exclusive world premiere. <laughs> Error. Error. <laughs> okay, go for it. All right. So it says the game is 99% couch compliant. So we'll see what that 1% is. So, 8 bit milligames, Gemintronic. Press fire. And it's got the little Gemintronic symbol, and mm. it's got the two uh, dragons. So, password up, down, left, or right, edit position or value. We don't we won't be using that to begin with but try it up down five so what does it go to zero to eight or nine let's go up and down oh oh my god it's got letters too lots and lots of combinations it's got Z. how do i get out of this what other letters does it have seven oh, zero m c d e o is that a zero e d c m o nine Eight seven six five four three two one zero. Okay, so it's very interesting menu. If you go to the left, far to the left, you can change the game. Game one, game two, game three. And if you go far to the right, you change game mode. So um, let me read about which ones those are. Uh, pressing left, entry fields. Okay, difficulty mode, attract mode, game selection. World one, game one is world one. Castle exits lead to the next kingdom with needed items. Uh, Yanni. I don't know. It hit me all of a sudden. Sorry. Uh, game two is world two. White castle exits interconnect most kingdoms. We probably want world one. Uh, game three is randomly start at world zero through 255. All castles exits greatly interconnected. Uh, note worlds very dependently on on difficulty mode. So yeah, game one. So let's go to the. Oh. Okay, not the button. But you wanted me to start. Nope. Start game one. Nope. Okay, NTSC. Press the button. So go to the left, and we'll go game one. Okay, now go to the right, all the way to the right. And we want novice, so mode B. And 
No. Did you pick mode B? I pushed to the left. Yes, I did. Excellent. So now we can press the button. Fire to confirm the code? Uh, it's a random code, so just press the button and it should be fine. There. That's what I pressed it on last time, so okay. game one, right? Yep. And here's the intro. <gasps> they ran away! Stealing the cup, the chalice! Where did and they he's go? like, get it back for me! Okay. Um, short fire press causes the dragons to roar. Hold fire for longer for extended roars. Medium fire presses, uh, press toggles levers. So that's a lever. Uh, that was on the screen previously. I don't know where it went. Um, long press and hold fire to switch player one and two inventory slots. We're just playing one player at the moment. Continual press and hold fire oh. causes players to flicker and return to the so password screen. What, what do I do? Not sure yet. Um, intro, game over, and winning screens. Press fire on the joystick to progress. So, let's get to progression. Obtain yellow key to enter yellow castle. Green key to enter green castle. Pretty self-explanatory. I can roar, but I don't know if my roars do anything. Yeah, it doesn't say what the roars do yet. Um, first for a 2600 game accepting passwords. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I've, we've played... Um... Load run. Ah, ah, yeah, ah run. he's running away with That's me. <laughs> he stole you? Oh my god, it's like the bat. In a, in, uh... I don't understand. Ah, we'll get there. Ah, ah, uh, Obtain the torch to reveal the red key. Eliminate the white kingdom. Search red kingdom with torch. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll read out what the enemies are. Spike, stone face, and stalactite. Invulnerable and damaging. Some pause for Rangri. Oh, let's go back to the switch. And let's learn about the switch. What? Just so it hold. says... Um, oh, did you switch it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I you switched already them it. multiple times. Okay. <laughs> I haven't been looking. Oh. Just been reading. Hi. Is this... Oh. Not your wizard dude. Winning. Okay, let's let's figure out what the goal is. Return the chalice to the yellow castle storage room will complete the game. A time rating will be displayed in white on the bottom of the screen. Lower times are better. Does not factor difficulty mode or items loaded from password. Your password will be upgraded to the next game overworld. Oh, so it's a continuous game. So let's figure let's find out what we're seeing on the screen. Oh, baby cat. So on the bottom, player one status and item is on the bottom left. So right now that is kind of a shield thing. And we'll find out what that is. Yay! Oh, yellow key. Okay, so that goes back to the yellow kingdom. And opens the yellow gate on the castle. And we do have a map, but we will consult that later. Um, let's continue with, didn't Secret Quest use passwords? Yes! So that was an early, early password game. OG. Um, Treasure Chester, all tricks, no treat. Stu, Ralph, and early the troll, Ernie the Troll marches around vaguely until Chalice is obtained. Uh, Death Negas and Angry Wizard, a randomly seeking dragons, aim for the head. Uh, you crazy the bat swoops in to drag the dragons. You yeah. encountered that. Screech can slow players. Oh, there's the green key. But that one's protected. Ah! Ah! Oh! Did he drag you off somewhere? Um, kingdoms. Yellow kingdom. Starting area and... Oh, there you go. Now you can go in. Ooh, what are all these? There's keys, there's cups... I think those are just decoration. Oh, is that food? Thing? Oh, food. That was definitely floor chicken. <laughs> floor chicken. It looked like floor chicken. It did. Nice decoration. Keys, arrows. Uh, green kingdom has green key and torch. Red kingdom hides the red key and chalice. Reveal key with torch. Um, so you have to go to the green kingdom next. Okay. And get the green key and the torch in the green kingdom. 
And then you go to the Red Kingdom um, and get the Red Key and the Chalice. Oh, there's Green Kingdom. Oh, perfect. Cat. He is trouble. Oh. Nine oops. HP does not hurt kill quota. Nine nice. HP. <gasps> Floor chicken. Oh, we saw the green key. Wasn't the green yeah, key like in the blue? Yeah. Might have to go back. Uh, the white kingdom has the eye to find the chalice in the red kingdom. Oh, okay. Dark until torch is used. Okay. Blue Maze, Curse, Amalgam of All Realms, off only seen by greedy killers. Room types. Common rooms have up to four exits, like this one. Layout can change ah. based on direction of entry. Oh my god, you're being attacked. I'm guessing that is your Elf? hit points. Oh, it's changing screens. Has five? Or oh, maybe that's location. Five, six, five, five. 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 Yeah, that okay. makes sense. Okay. It's that's your hit points. But Seven. But that sells color. items in his blue room if you can't find them normally. Oh. oh. The bat steals things and then sells them? Kitten, what are you up to in there? Oh, stop it. Uh, okay, what else do I have to read? Spike rooms usually contain invulnerable, invulnerable moving traps or falling stalactites. Switch rooms. <gasps> ZPH, you found the ZPH ah! room. ZPH room. Dun, 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 <laughs> nice. dun, dun, dun. Oh, we're going to get copy strike. Watch out. <laughs> Don't sing too much of a song. <laughs> so we're still looking for the green key. We did see it, though. Yeah, it was in a blue room with okay. the bat. Um, exclamation rooms can trigger a curse that blinds, flip walls, or spawn spikes don't think we've seen an exclamation room yet ah, castles spikes. allow entry using same colored keys or warp you back to yellow kingdom what is this thing um, a bouncy guy let's see he kind of had spikes didn't he yes yeah, like a spiky ball um it doesn't have pictures of what the enemies are nope. oh it's a spike trap never mind i did find it oh it's a trap Spike trap. It's yeah. a trap. Don't touch those spikies. Ah! Um, doesn't say what that is. Oh, those are the stalactites. So you don't want to. Oh, three hit points left. I don't know. <laughs> that cat is a digging. So I'm guessing those switches open and close. Rooms. Rooms areas? or areas. There's so many of these guys. There's a green key. Is that what we're looking for? How do you... How do you get it? That cat's up to no good. This is... Is this his... Uh, need three kills more. We have to kill things. Oh! Uh, bridge allows vertical movement through walls for equipped player. So we have to find a bridge too. Shield provides 16 hit points to equipped player mm. for initial pickups and help, so shield is good. I had a shield. Oh, too many in one room. No! Oh, one hit point left. Zero hit points ah! left. Oh, well, that's where you kind of want to be. Is it? Mm. Quota in purple. Oh, stalactites. Let's wait till the purple thing comes on the screen. Zero and one. Oh, what? Cups? Did you, did you get cups? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my goodness. Get away. Roar, 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 roar. Uh, helpful hints. Write down coordinates to, of items to aid progression. Mm, mm, yeah. yeah. That would help. <laughs> uh, move away from far corners immediately to avoid enemies in pursuit. Hmm. Uh, spikes reset or may even vanish if you exit and come back into a oh, room. So I have to find the bat again. Okay. Back to the baddies. Two purple chalices mean you met the quota. Okay. To let the bat give you the item. Okay. 
Um, some kingdom layouts require you to purchase items from the secret bat shop. Um, swap inventory slots to share shields, HP, buff, and expert mode. Well, we're only playing one player, so and we're not in expert mode. Rooms change, but have a recognizable pattern. Oh, well. Uh, objects. Levers toggle walls in every kingdom. Repeated toggling may... Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. So, sometimes you can toggle many times? Castle stairs allow access to the same colored castle interior. Got that. Yellow keys uh, access to yellow castle interior exits and storage rooms. Green key opens green castle interior exits. Red key opens red castle. There we go. Oh, you got it. Got my nice. key. Okay, so the next thing you need to do after the green kingdom is the red kingdom i don't think those i think it's all just decoration there you go so now you need to go to the red kingdom and find the red key oh there you go oh good night good night mike soul good night thanks for hanging out thanks for coming He's got an overbite. <laughs> Flappy top lip. Um, oh, wait, wait a second. Let's see. Oh, you need to find the torch. Do you have the torch? Not yet. Okay, you need to go back to the green kingdom then. Because you need to get the torch. In the green kingdom? To, yeah, to reveal the key in the red kingdom. Because it's hidden. You can't find it without the torch. Oh, that's better. That opened things up. Ah! <laughs> oh, dead end. Gray. Oh, it turned gray. <laughs> My dad? Oh, it's nighttime. Oh. Does, so that hides what Is it nighttime? You're no, in? someone just said goodnight. That's all. Oh, no, not nighttime. Night. Oh, you're back in. Yeah. What are you doing? Don't be a pixel. <laughs> that's what pixel used to do he is slowly turning into pixel he is now hiding under beds okay you're back in the green kingdom perfect yeah you asked me to go back to the green kingdom now you have to find the torch in the green kingdom because the torch lights has hazards kingdoms and makes the red key visible Ooh. I love the, the growling. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Rawr, rawr, that is rawr. cool. That is rawr, really cool. Rawr. I will scare you with my roar. Isn't rawr. that right? Isn't that right? Roar cat. Sprite cat. Ooh, stalactites. Ah. Ooh, dead end. Whoa. Ah. Oh, switch. Takes you back. Oh. 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 Yellow ZPH room. Uh. What's going on? Noises. Ah! <laughs> Have you flipped that switch? Just keep flipping them. <laughs> Flip them. Bat Screech slows player, also shows kills needed. Oh, no. It's attacking you. Oh, another switch. Two, one. It's, it's, it's like those adventure games where you go west and then you go east and it's not the same place that you came from. Because you just, yeah, because you can't go back there. I can kill or is it just a trap uh i think that's a spike trap yep there's a set pattern though uh, okay
Looks like he has a, like a little thing in his belly. I know. <laughs> so do you gain hit points at some point? Oh, the torch! Yay! Yay! Okay, now you go to the Red Kingdom. Now that you can see uh, the hidden items. Ah, ah! Roar, roar, one hit point, zero hit points left. <laughs> so funny, this doesn't have um, projectiles, but it's got a roar. Roar, roar, roar. <laughs> roar, 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 roar. Get out of my face! Rawr, 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 rawr. Get out of my face! Grumble Dragon. Grumble Dragon. Okay, so let's see about that. So, so I remember with, what, what room? <laughs> yeah. I think it's so, on four somewhere. So with the torch, you'll now be able to see the red key. Um... And then, once you get the red key, you go into the white kingdom to find... Oh! oh did you die? I must have died. Oh, no! Toggling lever or bat can teleport you near castle. Oh, oh. that left. Oh, that, should have, that would have gotten me back there. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> so, let's play two players. Okay. So let's see how we do that. <laughs> uh, let's read the options here. Password is good to continue. Oh, so you can continue with that password? Mm -hmm. Guessing that's what he means? Mm -hmm. Let's try and let's continue then. But you want to play two, two players? Oh, too. yeah. Yeah, we, we'll mm -hmm. play two players. That'll show two off. Two-player fire starts co-op. Gotcha. Oh, second, second player, player fire. Sorry. Okay, yeah. so let's make sure we're still in game one. And mode B. Okay. Is this plugged in? Yep. No, it doesn't. Lies. Vicious lies. Use current password? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, fell off. Okay, so do I have to go back into that yeah. and then press? Me, me. And then oh, you, you Oh, then press I press fire. it. Then I start up. Okay. No! There I am. Yay! So, Tanya is mustard, and I am blue. Oh, we both roar when you press a button. Do you? So how do we go from Can room you to roar? room? Yeah, we both yeah, roar. Yeah, cute. We're uh, sympathetic roars. So how do we get out? Is it me? I'm, I'm in control of it. Oh, apparently. okay. Okay, so he's protecting eight, so we have to figure out how to get there. Oh. Okay. So what's the no, first? Okay. Uh, it's yellow. So he's protecting that until we get all our monsters. Right. Side BH. Oh, do we have some... Are we starting from where we were before? I no, we're at the beginning. One, I don't know. What's oh, both needs to face the same exit. Okay. Ah. Okay. So let's find this yellow key. Her progress was saved. So. Oh, if does you that go... mean? Was it? I don't know. I would have gotten the red. Should we go down this time? I like the um, switching. Oh, you got hit. Oh. Oh, back up. Nothing in here. Ah! Slide tights, I got hit! Ah! I like the switching um, display at the bottom that kind of cycles through your hit points, your inventory. Should already have the old items. Yeah, we do have the old items. Oh, so we need to go but, to but the he, red... He was protecting the red key. 
Well, yes, and we weren't able to see it before. Yeah, then how do we get there? Oh, we have to kill some kill some creatures. Ugh, you're not letting me. Which way do you want to go? Oh, let's go up there. Oh, so this. Here. Okay. But, so how do but we... we're on the yellow level. We don't want to be on the yellow level anymore. Right. We want to be on the red level. So. so how many left do we have to get then? Oh, my time. Can we switch that? <laughs> you lead. You played it more than me. Oh no, I get confused seeing you. <laughs> I always find that with two player games. I'm like, yeah. ah, who am I playing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm blue. You're mustard. Mustard. <laughs> mustard yellow. Since you have the torch, you can go to the red kingdom, get the red key. Yes. Okay. So I have to find the red kingdom. Oh. No. Oh. Well, let's take a different path then. Go up. Sure. Oh, what's he trying to do? Oh. That's the yellow. Oh, yeah, up here, up through here. Okay. Up the, out here. Green. We're in green. Oh, okay, cool. Up through here. Up oh. through here. Orange? I don't remember orange, but did I do orange? Uh, and back to yellow. Green. Back to green. What are we trying to get to? A uh, red. Is this red? It's not red. Is it? There is no orange kingdom, is there? Red is lit. Yeds? Yeds? <laughs> Yeds. Okay. Yeah, there's, this is... Yeah. So this is lit up, I guess. So this is red. Ah! Uh, nope. like ha 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 i've got your key <gasps> oh look <gasps> how did you got it i don't Is know that a mistake i guess we killed enough creatures that's what i was trying to do <gasps> What's that? that's the chalice so now we have to go to the white kingdom to get the eye well we have to get through the, the we have to go back through the uh, oh. dungeon so okay yeah is there something we need on this level uh not not right now This way. Oh, there it is. Yay, it's open. So now we need to go to the white. There we go. And we need to find the eye. Whatever that looks like. We'll find out. Oh, there's a bridge. Nice. Now we can get through things that we couldn't get through before. like to make a lot of noise. It's very cute. I like that. It's super cute. Oh, is that? What is that thing? What is it carrying? Oh. Got reset back. This the white kingdom but dark? Switch the switch all the switches. Oh. Didn't you have a bridge? Yeah, I don't know how to activate it. It might just work. Oh, let's get out of here. Can't oh. So we should be able to go up. No. Up? How do we activate? What does the bridge do? It says you can we can get across things. Just one second. Second player is a bridge, so now you can move vertically through walls. Nope. You mean the top wall? Yeah. Nope. Lies. <laughs> bridge returns to yellow storage when the bat transports you to the bat shop. Oh, we don't have the bridge anymore. Oh, that's why. Oh, where are you? You're done. Oh, we got the two cups. We have defeated all of the things in the White Kingdom, but I don't think there's a white key. Yeah, we need the... Uh... We need the eye. Oh, oh, there it was. Go back up, back up, back up, back up. We got it. Okay. Yell at him, yell at him. <laughs> now we go back to the Red Kingdom. Red Kingdom? Which has the chalice, now that we have the eye. 
Ah, prevents stealing from the back. <gasps> there it is. There's the chalice. Ooh, pretty. We can kind of touch it. <laughs> it's three quarters perspective, so we can't really touch it. We must yell at creatures. Yell at them. And then run into them. Switch all the switches. Yell at them. No bats. Go up, go up. Oh, okay. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Buying too many items from the bats may lead to a bat thing. Bad, not a bat thing. Sorry. Coming. Ah, I'm getting hit. Ah, so slow. Oh, we still have lots of points. No! Let me go! Let me go! Oh. Okay. Well, we have to go to the red... Yeah, we have to go to the red kingdom. Yeah, wherever that so we is. we need to get back to the castles. This way. This way. I feel like it's up, but I could be wrong. Yeah... Gonna circle around soon. <laughs> I think it's usually around four, not one. Let's go this way. Okay. Ugh, I hate these rooms. <laughs> Guess you have to dodge. They're terrible. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Go away. Rawr, rawr, rawr. I love how both of them roar <laughs> when one of us pushes. <laughs> so funny. Oh, does this look good? Up. Rawr, 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 rawr. Oh, I got spiked. Run from the spikes. No, roar, roar, roar. Come with me. A wall. Oh my god, it kept attacking me. Oh my god. Which way are we going? Down? There we go. Oh, okay. So we go. How do we get to the red? Is it left? We have to go back to the red? Yep. The red okay. has the chalice. There we go. The chalice? Yep. It's the last quest. So he's got the chalice, but we have to destroy creatures in the seven, red. Seven? Oh, that's not red. Back. No, that's fine. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Isn't that the, our friend? No, they're mean. Oh, now we're red, but that's not a creature. Ooh, watch out for it. Spiky, good. Oh, we got it. Nope. Maybe. Oh. Oh, we got the cops. Okay, let's go back. Let's here, go back. Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that didn't do it. <gasps> da da da. Oh. Is that not. Oh, we have to return it. We have to return it to. Yellow? Yellow? You can. Can go all the way back to Yellow Castle Storage to get that chicken for nine oh, okay. each. What <laughs> Yellow Castle Storage? Okay. All right. Is it up? I don't know. It... Oh, <laughs> I thought it was up. Oh, okay. someone's cooking. Stink. Mm, no, it smells good. Does it? No, it smells good to me. I don't think so. Mm. It almost smells good. It smells bad. No. It's barbecue something. Barbecued stink. No. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. It does go to a castle, but... That's not the castle. No. Usually, you, if you hit it, you go back to the castle. Mmm. Up again. There we go. Okay. Okay. Ah! Okay. Uh, to the left. Left, right? And then in. And then in. And then in. Then left. And then in. 
And then we go up to the where we store it. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's good fire. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. And bubbles going up the screen. Yay! Yay! Good game. Good game. Yay, good game. <laughs> GG. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, it's great. And lots of different areas and lots of creatures. Yes. And I love the roaring. It's I, super the cute. The roaring is adorable. I kind of want to put my two cats in into that rawr, game. Rawr. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> yes. Got to make a game with two cats and they go both go meow, 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 yeah. meow, <laughs> meow, meow, yeah. meow, meow. Yeah. Yep. Roar. That's what they wish they were. Dragons. Very nice. Yeah. Gem and Tronic. Oh, 254 more game worlds to go. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. So here's the... In the manual, there are maps to help you out to get to different um, castles oh, that's and good. worlds and, and different stuff. games and different... Yeah. Oh, okay. Different game modes. Nice. So the manual is very helpful. Yeah. And it just shows you there's you a lot the more... To play. A lot more to it. A lot yes. more to play. Yeah. Because we didn't Very even nice. use the bridge, right? Because it got stolen immediately. True. Good point. Good point. Very cool. Thank you so much, Gematronic, yes. for letting us premiere your game. Yes. Um, so, like we said, it is um, on pre order right now, shipping in early July. Mm -hmm. If people like what they saw, yep. it is available. Poll results are very gone. Uh, we did read <laughs> we them did out. We did cover them, yeah. And I think... Um, the ones one. Once a year. Uh, yes. Yeah. Once a year and then never <laughs> was second place. <laughs> um, but if you missed it, just rewind back. Mm -hmm. I think just Arena Foot voted a little late, so we added one one more vote to the five. Okay. Which was never. He never goes to the arcade. <laughs> I'm sure he one. would if there was one nearby. Yeah. Because arcades are a lot of fun. They are a lot of fun. Uh, especially when they have games you've never played before. Yeah. Wonderful show. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Um, and we have even more awesomeness coming up next episode on Tuesday, um, which is going to be the world premiere of Bubble Bobble for the Atari 7800 <laughs> Plus, a live interview uh, with Old Style. Now I can change that from TBA to uh, Bubble Bobble. Nice. And start spreading the word out. Nice. Yeah. Lots of fun. Um, and I'm slowly filling in some games for after that. We're going to have you know Atari 8-Bit Day, uh, Lynx Day, uh, Jaguar Day. Um... Uh, Let's see. Oh, there's some more that I need to... Actually, I can just combine that with that. Maybe we'll do a Jaguar Day next. Mm. Mm, I have enough. Oh, why is Crown Land doubled? Gotta fix Twice. that. Oh, and we have to do Jaguar Rotary Controller Special oh, Number yeah. 2 and finish off every Jaguar Rotary Controller game. Nice. Arkanoid, Impulse X, Kaboom, Kaboom. Project W nice. is Warlords, Virtual Experiences Pong. Mm. I don't think Warlords is going to be super great with one person without a <laughs> rotary controller. Very and one true. With. Yeah. Hopefully there's... We'll do what we can. Yeah, we'll do what we can. We'll Maybe we you can. can do a mixed, a yeah. mixed one. More jaggy, spinny stuff. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. Lots more fun to come. Warlords is one of the best game, yeah. multiplayer games yes. ever made. Yes. And of course, Spiceware's um, twist on it that's more close to the arcade version that one's, is really yeah. good um so thanks for hanging out with us definitely show up on tuesday yes um 6 p.m same time as today um for uh bubble bobble mm -hmm. tanya will be there are you excited <laughs> we both love excited. bubble bobble, yeah. bobble. and so the cute. fact that it's two players is going to be a lot of fun the cats will be there too oh he's so tired let's show that cat. yeah look he's just I love out. food sprites coming up on the screen, you know. Like, oh, yeah. And his hand is on the yeah on the catnip. On the catnip. So cute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tired or stoned? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. He's yeah. had a, a big day. A little bit of combi. A little bit of combi. Big day of sleeping. Oh. oh look at that cat. They've had a stressful week because they were they were boarded at the vet, so they were they're for five finally days. settling back in. They sent us photos of our kitties, and they looked. 
they didn't look too panicked. They looked like, Ugh, get us out of here. Yeah. <laughs> but they weren't frightened or scared no. looking. They're just like, we don't like Why this are we here? Yeah. What did we yeah. do to deserve this? No. Your but they're cats. back now. You're back now. You're back. Good kitties. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us <laughs> um, today, playing all these awesome games. Thank you to all the devs that were able to be here and help us uh, talk about the games, Gem and Tronic and Andrew Davey mm -hmm. and um, the game tester uh, for uh, yes. Karamuho was yes. here. Yeah. Um, the actual dev, it's three o'clock in the morning where he lives. Oh, so he said, yeah. he said, I'm usually up by then. I didn't see him in the chat, but maybe he was in there, but I, I didn't see him. Yeah. Um, but, three o'clock in the morning. Yikes. Yeah. He says yeah. he usually gets up at three or four. Wow, <laughs> that's that is an early bird. Yeah, I am the exact opposite oh of that. My God, three or four. <laughs> I would go to bed. I'd rather go to bed at three. Yeah, and get up at three. I think I would. Hundred percent. Yeah. How about five? I'd still rather go to bed at five. That's a little late though. Um, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, Tanya needs to go to sleep. Uh, apparently, I'm yawning all night, but that's uh, okay. But it's a weekend. So it is a weekend. Time to I catch can up sleep on in, sleep. which is good. Yeah. Uh, Gamma Dev, Prow Seven, Chelsea Dunmao, <laughs> Rendered Goes, Danny C, Gemantronic. Thank you once again. Um, Scott Linux, Mike Soul, Rena Fud, uh, Rena Fud. Welcome back, Dan AVC, Nostalgic. Rich, I saw in there. Andrew Davy, of course. Thank you for being here for um, your um, early beginnings of your game. Lots of cool concepts in there. Uh, Spiceware, yep. even though he's he's not feeling well, oh, he no. still showed up. No, thank There's you, There's a post in the Atari Age forum if you want to check out what's going on and wish him well. Uh, Vitoko, Mark Johannes, uh, VVG Double Down, Lots use your joystick of, yeah. today. We're still working. It's working great. Um, old style, of course. Yay! I'll be in contact with you and arrange uh, for everything for Tuesday's nice. show. Nice. Um, and I think that's it. That's all we got to in the chat up to the top. Um, so we'll be back Tuesday, 6 p.m. Yes. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern for more awesome gaming. It's just going to be Bubble Bobble that day. <laughs> <laughs> An old style interview. Nice. It's a lot to play on Bubble Bobble. I'm looking forward That's to gonna it. It's going to be fun. Yeah. A lot of so fun. Be there, and we will see you on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. Have a good weekend. Bye bye, everyone. Bye.